back. Yeah, this is a light brown jacket. Uh, <laughs> 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 story. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever not fully Zoom episode of Not Another Conspiracy Podcast. Very true. I'm here. I, I was allowed to leave the United States of Conspiracy. Whatever! Okay. <laughs> Fuck me, I know that song in ages. It's my United States of whatever. And he was just playing dice in the corner and he was like, whatever. <laughs> what yeah, a great song. Yeah. But yeah, everybody. Um, I don't know. You usually introduce, don't you? So I, yeah. Go ahead. Uh Today we're going to talk about aliens, but in York, we've got JJ Jackson. Hey ho! Been years. Oi, look at that shirt. Though. I know, yeah. What shirt? Halloween oh, Horror Nights. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yes. Fuck it, that's got retro. And it's all U UV, so when I was walking around the park, it was just like... Bam! Man, you got Gozer. Two got, Ghostbusters. Yeah, what, uh, what else we got? got? Slimer. Three Ghostbusters. Slimer, that thing from that thing from Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Uh, um, oh, the Universal true. Monsters. Oh, that's dope. Mm. And then the big. I, thing. I didn't wear a um, novelty T-shirt today. Oh. I've just got a Dickies one. Oh, I've, I've just slung something on that I was able to pull out of my suitcase. But yeah, I'm here visiting. Yes, um, in South End on Sea. South End. Oh. Uh, taking a break from America for a little while. Won't go into detail, doesn't matter. Back to England where sanity prevails. <laughs> <laughs> but today, um, granted, we're still working on the big 9-11 episode. Unfortunately, I I have to kind of apologize. Let's not lie. We've stopped working on it. <laughs> well, it's there. I, I have to take responsibility to a degree. There's been a lot of personal shit going on a lot of the reason why I'm home as well um, and also that work back home hasn't helped with not being or, or hasn't helped with being able to do research and even allowing me to do to take mm -hmm. the time to do a lot of things it's um, always questionable when your search history is like 9-11 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Muslims are they bad and, and that's why <laughs> Dean's back in England <laughs> <laughs> yeah could you yeah, mean, do your search history at the airport like going this guy's probably going to bomb something. <laughs> My front door is off of its hinges right now. Um, <laughs> but yes, back. It's, it's, it is in the pipe work, but it, this was clearly an opportunity that we couldn't pass up. Um, we've obviously had to make a point of it because mm. it's pretty cool that we're both at least in one room. It's a shame we obviously couldn't get to JJ or JJ couldn't get to here. But we put JJ on the big screen for once. <laughs> oh yeah, we have in actual fact. This is, is this not the usual setup? No, I normally just sit there like <laughs> like slumped in my little corner, <laughs> it looks, it needing looks, a wee. Office looks good, man. <laughs> but today we're going to be, it's kind of a filler episode, but at the same time we're going to be discussing uh, a fair few things about like alien uh, disclosure. There's obviously been a few uh, videos that have come to fruition recently, as well as Obama saying something on the James Twat show, wasn't it? I think I think you sh you shared. You yeah, shared my mum my mum shared it with me and then shared a surprise face. I haven't even read it to be fair, because um, obviously we've been talking, haven't we, of this whole us not filming stuff, and it's mostly been about cryptocurrency. And today was yeah <laughs> something out of this world. If I'm honest, uh, we won't go into I'm that. I'm so glad that I wasn't watching. Oh. I was just on. I do my bike test because I think I probably would have been like, oh well, I had I had fucking fortune. I got fucking zero. <laughs> well, I was gonna say because I'm over here with my my like, American phone, I can't see like. Oh my god! Yeah, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> don't look. Fuck. And that's when he realised that he's lost all his money. Yeah, but what oh, what he didn't realise... You didn't so get to buy. You could have brought if you'd had your Wi-Fi on, mate. I was going to say, well, I, I, if, if it drops, I will buy some more. But Jesus Christ, Dogecoin hit what I had already invested in. Wow. Um, so mm -hmm. that number that you've just looked at, Dean, half that, and that's what it was about three hours ago. <laughs> not not just not just Dogecoin. The whole, all of the it. Whole, the whole thing. <laughs> Everything. Bit Bitcoin went Every down to twenty thousand pounds. <laughs> what? The power of Elon. Uh, is this? This is Elon. Nah, the, the whole stock market's crashed. It's fucked. 
what the uh, fuck is going on? This is Alien. Now, <laughs> now you've got, got now you've You got say out. that, but my Roblox and oh, my Deliveroo fuck. shares have gone up uh, today. Because everyone's so depressed that they're just playing crashed. shitty computer games. Oh, you've just crashed as well. No, <laughs> no. But we're still recording. We're still recording, so oh. audio and whatnot. It's back. Oh, oh hold on. Oh. Hey, there he is. Oh, now I you're all jittery. It's back. Oh, well, that's all right. So nothing happened oh. there, people. We're still we're still talking. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Joe, I just got your message. It crashed. Oh. It took that long to get here from York. I don't know what's going on yeah. here. Are you sure it's not yours, Ben? Because you've you've turned. In, I can see you. You've turned into a pixel. You're moving, but you're moving, and so are we. Yeah, we're. we're it's your end, mate. All oh, right. So you're moving perfectly. Well, anyway, <laughs> cryptocurrency aside. Anyway, ignore it. it difficulties out. The side. We're all going to be recording. You all, people, the viewers at home, aren't going to realise that, that that went wrong there. <laughs> yeah. The biggest you're going to hear is discussing it. I love how unprofessional we are, even when we're in the same. Yeah, room. I think it's even I think worse. Well, I think, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's easier when we're in different. We just pressed record when we got here. We didn't even think about it. Normally we're like, okay, no, is everyone recording? Has everyone got their settings set? Like JJ's probably recording at the wrong speed. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm recording in cinematic 4K. Is that right? 4K, is that right? Yeah, That's awesome. Perfect. Yeah, I was gonna say file size 20 gig already. Um, yeah, Dean can't. Dean also isn't the only one to kind of take the hit on this. I mean, we've all been fucking ridiculously slack and obviously we're all back to work now as well so like I yeah <laughs> don't even want to look at so yeah not even fucking entertaining don't look at that it's for 200 quid it's worth um, it so as well like and um we'll get back to what we were saying um this is a filler episode this is to fill a void that has obviously been there for quite a while it might not be ferociously on topic and uh cat like perfectly categorized with what we want to talk about but an opportunity we can't pass up to be yeah. able to possibly discuss a lot of the alien shit that's been going on. And luckily, in the meantime, the cryptid ramblers have been yeah, slowly been creeping up to <laughs> matching us, and they're going to be like the number one like of the two podcasts. I was gonna say, they're they're going to beat us. They're, they're, our Discord server is primarily going to be a Discord server for them. <laughs> yeah, <they're> gonna, <laughs> gonna we'll have to hand it over to them. But we'll talk about, um, I possibly it's the elephant in the room, I guess, when it comes to uh ufo disclosure at a minute because i believe it's in july no may june was it that that i believe the u.s government were supposed to um release everything that they know about uh uaps ufos whatever you want to refer them to and with with that time frame upcoming we've also seen something just recently uh that has jeremy corbell had uh released and it was i can't remember the name of the um the, the ship that had filmed this object again like ben mentioned it's been this is a quick throw around uh, a quick opportunity we haven't done a lot of research this is all just obviously observation that we've seen on twitter but uh a uap very much like uh the gimbal uh very much like the tic tac observation from a uss um or a navy i believe it was a carrier I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's so looking now. Is, yeah. Unset, is that the one from 2004? I don't know, but for in, well, a USS Omaha is that the one? I leaked USS. Yeah, I believe that is the one. Yeah, where in thermal imaging they managed to capture oh, this. Sorry, I yeah, didn't mute. They what managed a to capture error. this orb, or at least this vehicle that is traversing across um, the ocean. Granted, obviously the boat is a uh, um, at sea level where they're filming, and what's interesting, it kind of correlates a lot to what we've been getting to with our UFO episodes. How we need to start considering that UAPs and UFOs may not necessarily be coming from outer space, and they may well be, in fact, coming from Earth itself, because this UFO that's filmed from this ship in a thermal imaging state. Um, it hovers across i'm not too sure what speed it's going at i do believe that they actually do disclose in like the description and stuff like that but they they they're keeping track on it because it, it again as as very much like the tic tac and the gimbal ufo it's not showing propulsion it's not showing trajectory or any thermal exhaust plumes to 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 suggest it's actually being propelled by anything motorized and it hovers towards the bottom of the well towards the tip of the ocean and then it splashes into into the water i think it looks like a helium balloon <laughs> <laughs> just blowing around in the wind 
Oh. Of, co- of course, that they are unable to distinguish. It like, can't look. It's like it's like Hellier. I was just it's about to Hellier, say this is just Hellier repeating itself. Yeah, it I is. mean, like, I think one. Boys, but... I think one of the things, <laughs> one of the weird things, is that um, all the major newspapers are now interviewing Jeremy Corbell. Um, right, and he's loving that. Yeah, yeah. and his beard looks you know, great. And do you know? Do you notice as well? Like when you. I know, obviously, like news anchors are very, very like well rehearsed in how they are try. They try to sound off the cuff when they're asking these questions. But Jeremy Corbell just sounds so choreographed when he talks, and it. I like. I like the guy. I love what he's doing for the UAP and UFO community. I think he's a very important um, conduit of information. But he, oh, it's 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 the way he talks. It just how he's just constructs <laughs> everything, and it doesn't. It just sounds horribly robotic. Yeah, I... But it's good that we had him, uh, that he's been able to release this because again, it's another very interesting uh, piece of footage that the Pentagon has no answer for it, or the Navy has no answer for it. The details. I remember finding an article on it, and it actually has the breakdown of. Um, the speed at what they believe it was calculated at and how big it possibly was. And again, like the gimbal, like the Tic Tac and the other, I can't remember what the, the Nimitz, the US yeah, Nimitz Nimitz. video, I believe it was. Nimitz. They don't have answers for it. Maybe and we should get in so much. We should get Jeremy Corbell on the show. If we can get Flat Earth David on the show. <laughs> Jeremy Cor- Let's you pay just him have, in I Kishu. think you should just say, you have to say his name like three times into ah. a mirror and Jeremy Corbell, <laughs> he shows up with some free beard oil. Oh, that sounds great. I mean... So but, um, the latest article I'm sorry, reading no, no. about him, um, well, not reading about him, but reading about the UFO sightings is, it doesn't say which senator, but it just says senator warns of huge counterintelligence threat if not taken seriously. But I mean, I, I don't get that statement in its essence. Like, if you don't, is it like if you don't believe in it, it won't happen. So you know, like yeah, it's like if you if you're not looking, yeah, it's not if you don't take it seriously, they're gonna come and murder you. I don't get it, like. And Jeremy Corbell's just I, like this, like in this video. I mean, I've just sent you guys the link. I don't know what he's saying. So I, I Discord. feel like the, that, that yeah, say that US or, or Senator says, um, obviously they're not naming anything. I mean, it, I think it does. I, I just I, haven't read the article. I just didn't know if you guys had been... Uh, Let's have a look. It's at the Express, so at least not the Daily Mail, I yeah. guess. A US Senator's warned the UFOs could be a huge counterintelligence threat if not taken seriously. Now, what do they mean by that? Do they mean that this is a psyops from Russia or China, or do they mean that it's actually like what does it? Terrestrial. What do they mean by counterintelligence? Or interterrestrial. Threat? Interterrestrial. Yep, yeah, you're right. That's Ocean Four, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Counterintelligence threat. It's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so. another, and still, like with regards to the, this topic and this article that we're talking about. Uh, the video that's included in it is, of course, the one that was captured over, I believe, the Middle East by U.S. soldiers, they, where there's that triangle. Uh, they, they're mm. capturing it through night vision, and that triangle UFO. It's a kite. But what's, <laughs> it's what's a metallic kite. <laughs> it's a metallic kite. Yeah. But what's interesting about <laughs> what's interesting about this night vision video? Um, again, uh, these will. Uh, Detail, like links obviously will be provided in the description of either Discord, uh, Spotify, YouTube. Yeah, um, Huxley. Yeah, yeah, Huxley, good boy. Make um, note. But what's interesting about this one is with regards to a lot of the tri... Sorry, you've got a bloody mosquito in here, man. Yeah. Uh, with regards to... Tropical. With regards to the video and these recent up... Uh, uh, um, uh, recent sightings of triangular UFOs because I think a few months back they were really kind of the main focus like everybody was talking about these random triangles that are appearing usually we only see them and we only confirm their triangles just from the lights that are allegedly contained on the vessels but this in this night vision video you can physically see it's a triangle yeah. like it's a physical triangle I mean I'm reading I'm reading the comments know. here um, from this from this thing <laughs> And it's by Dan Dan Solo. I saw a floating yeah. triangle 25 years ago in the north of England. The lights in each corner and a bigger flashing red light in the centre. It just slowly floated like a balloon in the wind, but was about 50 foot across in the in a snowstorm at night. It was in the local paper. It was in the local day. paper That'd next day. In the local paper next day. But what's oh. interesting Stole my is cat. we again. physically now can see that Let's there is see. video evidence of 
of a triangular just, UFO. You just, know? Read, I'm just reading the comments now. <laughs> <laughs> JJ's frozen as well, unfortunately. Oh, well. Can he... you hear us, JJ? No, he'll come back in ah, a minute. Ah. Hold on. Oh, he's back. There he's he goes. Back. Don't worry. Where? Don't worry. We were still rambling over the um. Frozen JJ. Did you hear us? Yeah. No, no, I couldn't hear you. Oh, right. Yeah. No, what I was basically saying is, it's interesting now that the triangular UFO, we physically got video evidence of a physical triangle. Yeah. Now, and it's again, can't be identified. U.S. military cannot answer what it is. So, is is he frozen again? Yeah, I think he'll be back again. in a minute. He's back. There we go. I'm back. Sorry back. for the listeners. I can't. I can't see. It's better when it's better when we're in different continents. Clearly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're obviously tethering off your super fast 5G in America, and we're just here back on fucking hamster wheel speed. Well, I, I was gonna say I've got my 5G vaccine, in I? So oh, that's that it. Might, yeah. Yeah. Maybe my va- and I've got a vaccine. Maybe we're just because I got Pfizer, your J and J. Maybe they're the 5G. Band is sort of, like it's really it's probably fighting each other and causing it's the five G Wi Fi. Yeah, um, um, <laughs> you're <laughs> interfering with each other. <laughs> yeah, so, JJ, like Dirty you've nonsense. seen you've obviously you've seen the uh, the night vision triangle uh, video. Yeah, that's that's the one that's at the top of this page now. But yeah, it's like Jeremy Corbell showing like three or four different videos. Um, I also saw it on the one that I shared you the other day, which was bundled with the that strange picture of the sun with that massive black that ma- circle yeah. next to it and that was allegedly captured by nasa and you know what they've book. said it is they've said it was an asteroid i was like that's a fucking big asteroid that's a perfectly circular yeah asteroid th- as they well. reckon that that would be the size of uh not Pluto, maybe pluto which they said it just yeah they said it was but well by the looks of things in the scale of the sun it's the size of a large planet um i like how they just don't seem too bothered about oh yeah don't worry about that that's just a, a pluto sized meat can't find asteroid. anything just, on I the mean, internet about it apart from that video but uh, so this was yeah this was where i was obviously you got to take everything with a pinch of salt that ever gets posted in our conspiracy and our ufo like so nat they like nasa captured this so where was it then, like, captured from? Where did the internet... So basically, that was my... NASA were, NASA were um, observing the increase in solar flares uh, because they were saying that there's gonna, there's a huge solar storm on, um, on the sun in the next coming months, which, mm. you know, could be quite important on our solar system, like, in our planet, like, climate. Um, right, right, and that's what that's what the photo was, and then everyone was just like, "Yeah, but what's that fucking massive circle?" Um, <laughs> like, don't worry about that. Like, yeah, that, that fucking huge. No, forget that. Because yeah, right, forget that normally. Right next to the solar flare on the sun, which was in like the top left corner, there was like a big, big like something going on with the for solar flares, and then the top left, like I say, like just this huge massive hole, but. And somebody's it, pointed out that the flares are actually like kind of engulfing it so it's not it isn't yeah. like a, a void because someone said it was a black hole i was just like a black hole wouldn't be, be that yeah, close that would, to the sun like and we'd be fucked yeah if i was, was gonna say we, pro- we wouldn't know about it we'd be dead it's a black hole sun yeah why don't you come, don't you come? but uh, four, four years since chris cornell died how weird is that rest in peace yeah, well, uh, he was, oh, uh, you know, uh, he was doing a documentary on paedophiles, right, and child trafficking. Yeah, and then he got sucked <laughs> yeah. into that big Same hole. as every other dead celebrity, so. But um, with regards to that, like, that, so I was going to say black circle that's next to the sun. It's interesting as well that, because obviously someone's probably listening and being like, well, this, everything around the sun should be black because it's obviously in space. But like, as JJ was saying, it looks like it's... Has anyone played the game Elite Dangerous? You can go to like suns and refuel your ship. It looks like something is using the plasma or like taking the solar flare. It's Superman. Do you think? Superman. It looks like your kitten wants to come in, dude. Gus. <laughs> God no. damn it, Gus. Um, Gus. Yeah. Go indoors. So with it, there's a lot of stuff is coming up very, very quickly with regards to like UFO disclosure. And as we mentioned at the start, uh, JJ, JJ's mum obviously text uh, him uh, like a screenshot of Barack Obama talking about how he is aware or was aware during his presidency that there were videos. I'm going to say something now okay. that's going to be that's probably going to offend some people. 
Barack Obama knows what to say to get headlines. I and think he, he knows, does. and he knows exactly how to be relevant. And he goes, "I could tell you about all the things, but I can't do it on video." Yeah. Mm, you, you could, you can tell us, but I refuse because not to. I'm not going to tell. Nope, I am Barack Obama, and I'm not going to tell you the things I know. However, how, however, though. The fact that he's even mentioning that, oh yeah, we are aware there are videos of these objects in in the sky that are traveling at certain speeds that we have no answer for, and it only goes to testament of Bill Hicks's bit when he says what happens when another president comes in that they take him into a smoky room, pull down a projector, and there's a big colonel with a big cigar and says, "Play the tape," and there's the opposite angle of jfk mm. being shot yeah. i reckon it's clearly that they must all sit there with their feet up sometimes in the white house and just throw on a dvd of look at all these things we've captured that have yeah. no answer for jj's frozen again but i'll ask the i'll ask the question saying. i'll ask the question of uh do you think they told Tr donald trump any of this fuck no there's no or do you, or is that why he's been banned from social media because as soon as he lost <gasps> he, his president he went they were like he cannot have any access to social media because he will just tell everyone everything i never thought about that I, d I think that's it and i'm gonna get my mouse so i can let jj back in, in oh, a yeah. second we're just gonna let jj back in he's, he's not here yet. disconnected but that is a fucking i point. think there's there's no way they're gonna go donald trump right he's left he's obviously disgruntled <laughs> yeah <laughs> he and a lot of other people believe me maybe one of them i'm not sure maybe i do believe that he should still be president Race, i don't know racist <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but maybe a... maybe he should still be president. I'm not. I didn't vote because I'm not American and right. I have no say. And you know, and I can't do that myself. And you can't do that. So we can't. We can't confirm or deny that Donald Trump should or shouldn't be president. But he's definitely disgruntled. I, it's a very good shout as well because I think it was wasn't it his son asked in an interview was just like, oh, what about the uh, what about the aliens? Or are you going to look into Roswell or something? And, Oh, we, uh, it's a thought, you know. I thought about it. We're gonna talk about talk about UFOs. Uh, it's something that is a great concern for us. Uh, but to be honest, I d I wouldn't fucking trust. I uh, I would trust a vampire with a blood bank more than what I would trust Trump with fucking UFO videos. I don't. Yeah, I don't think Trump should be allowed. I'm trying. I'm just trying to invite JJ in. No, no, no. Uh, that's cool. Um, but I want to keep talking because it's. It's um, but all of this, all of this, these videos and this disclosure happening right before the Senate is about to be sort of a or they no sorry not the Senate the, um, uh, Congress has to be uh, um, made aware of it or did, told about what's going on and also it has to be released to the public. It's almost like they're prepare they're physically fucking preparing us for something big. Yeah, I d I I I think that. I do think that, but I now I know Eddie Bravo is a famous is a famous conspiracy theorist, and he does smoke a lot of weed and talk shit on Rog on Joe Rogan. Yeah, but he He's has been he though. has been saying for ages that that everything is about aliens on TV. All the kids, who's this? Who's this? <laughs> Jay, fuck. Oh, that decline. We've frozen now as well. It's because someone rang me on my phone. Oh, and it came up on 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 your iPad thing. Yeah, we're still uh, recording though, so it's all good. We're still recording. So, Eddie Bravo, he believes that. Excuse me. Uh, he believes that we are being, like, like what 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 do, what do they call it? Um, conditioned. Conditioned. Thank you. I like, think we're con being conditioned to just think that aliens are a thing. Just okay. Like, and then one day there's going to be an invasion in inverted commas. And I believe that was Project Blue Beam or something. Yeah. 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 It's like some sort and, of holographic image in the sky. And it will, it will unite us. Almost like what people thought the pandemic was, was a fake thing to get rid of cash. Right, right. I understand. I understand. So I, that's what he thinks. And I, I'm more inclined to believe him that he goes, because he said, he goes, aliens, it's all the kids' TV shows about aliens. Everything's got an alien episode. It, like the TV's aliens, 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 aliens. He said... Just watch. They'll start releasing more tapes about aliens. Aliens coming out of the woodwork, and they'll start saying it's all true. And then we'll have an invasion. That's and never... I proper believe him. It... I think he's right. Well, it, I and I want JJ to be in the make sure he is physically here for when I read this because um, 
I, if you're in the Discord, you've probably seen myself share it in the past. Um, there was a Reddit post on our Ask Reddit, and the title of it is Alien Abductees of Reddit uh, or People Who Have Claimed to See a UFO, What's Your Story? And there's a particular comment on it. Now, this post was made seven years ago, and there's a particular comment on it that is, I believe it's the highest upvoted comment. It's the highest awarded comment on this particular thread. And the details in it are yeah. so fucking crazy that I want to read it, the whole entire comment, because it is so good. It is so convincing. And the timing and coincidence of it is too... It's too accurate. It's a shame that JJ's not here right now. Not here right now. <laughs> so is his internet connection down? Or? He said he's he said he's rebooting his router. Ah, I nearly the, called it router. Router. Ugh. And rebooting my router. Router. Um, but in but the, before I get to it, yeah, like I'm saving it because he save it for here. JJ because it, I'm, I'd love to hear his response to that. It's. But it's, I think it's all everything. Like cause obviously now we're. You'll never believe this, listeners or viewers, but me and Dean of this conspiracy podcast are both vaccinated. <laughs> yep. We both got vaccinated, and uh, so did Huxley. So that's oh, he's Hux. Oh, Hux- one of us. One, one of, of us. us. So, <laughs> so three of the four kind of team members We've, are vaccinated. Uh, we're we're completely with the system. Uh, we we are paid shills. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we are. We we did it, and I think it like I definitely got some like <gasps> in the Discord channel. Oh really? Yeah, there's a few people in the Discord. I don't even think I made it public in the Discord, but yeah. For I know. I, I I said I had to. I thought I would. I'm J and J in my right arm. I'm Pfizer, and then I got a sty. So I got five five eyes. Pfizer. 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 I all those. I had a bit of a shitty reaction to it. I had a I pounding fast. headache for. Well, I had a work friend say to me, he was like. Eight hours, and then that's when everything hit me. And I was like, oh, okay. And fucking on the dot, it's almost like I just sat there and was just like, eh, eh. Like that episode yeah. of Bottom where they watched the clock go, Dunk, like that. My yeah. head just went, Dunk. I was like, fuck me. I was like, I'm getting an internet connection coming in, running speed test. That's it. Now. That's what it was, I reckon. You had your speed test, but mine was like, instantly I went, oh, my arm. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, it felt, I felt it go in. But the <laughs> Pfizer's cold. Like, it's cold. Ooh. A cold one. So, that that's why I worked out why I felt it go in because it's cold going into a body temperature. That's fucking disgusting. So that's that was why it felt weird going in. And then I was like, oh, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was going, oh <laughs> fuck! And they make you sit there for fifteen minutes. Well, yeah, they- yeah, they did that with me too. Did the um, did, 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 was you sitting there thinking? I'm getting a really big urge to go to Jeffrey Epstein's island right now. I was like, yeah, and I was going <laughs> window. Like, so a little paper clip popped up in my eye and started telling me all of it. Little clips. Hi. It seems like you want to fuck a kid. <laughs> Do you want to come to a private island? Island? Ireland? Hi, <laughs> you've got a text message from Prince Andrew. Yeah. Oh, what? so. Oh, something new. Prince Andrew. Um, Chris Belcher, our one of Dean's friends. Oh, Belcher. Was on a plane three days ago. Yep. Three rows ahead. Prince Andrew was sitting there. No fucking way. Yeah. But he's. I hope you he's, spat at him, Chris. He didn't. He's a weakling. He didn't oh. even say nonce. Or he didn't even go, nonce. Oh, t- like that. <laughs> I would have had. I would have put him in kicked. Oh, I would have been kicked off from having a well, COVID because I would have gone. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, nonce. He didn't do it, and then I texted him. Go. I hope you cough nonced. And he went. Oh, I didn't. He had loads of blokes with him. And went. Well, they're going to oh, beat you mate, up for yeah. saying nonce. Oh, mate. I'd yeah, have, I was really disappointed. I'd have loved to have been sat next to you and just been like, do you know what? Let's talk about fucking paedophiles. Eh? Oh God, do you know what? <laughs> paedophiles. What is with Jeffrey Epstein? Who is that? I would have just been going. Jeffrey Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein. Hey, I, I know I wouldn't have said anything else. I would have go, Charm molester. And it would have got to the point where I, the, they would have probably had to land the plane. Because uh, I would have called an hostess and sat there and said, excuse me, on your music selection, I can't find Gary Glitter anywhere. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, where are you going? I'm just going to pop it to the Gary Glitter. <laughs> Are you making up Cockney rhyming slang now? Yes. Basically, because there's a nonce sat in front of me. There's a there's a very famous royal nonce. Uh, I can't on the believe plane. that. That's it, fucking bananas. Yeah, well, it shows what happens when you get demoted in the old royal family. You're flying coach. You get boat a carriage. Yeah, yeah you get, sorry, coach. coach. Yeah. So where was he flying? I this mosquito. I'm fucking killing him. Gotcha. Uh, I didn't ask because I was so annoyed that he... Um, that he just didn't call him a nonce. He didn't say anything. Sorry, hold on. He's, st- he's still saying, 
Uh, for fuck's sake, his uh, laptop's gone. JJ, uh, I, I, do you know what? I reckon it's the fact that we've got our vaccines. He hasn't. Yeah. And the elitist lizards... He's got a virus in his computer. Oh, he has? Well, that's what... Clearly, he's not vaccinated. <laughs> oh, JJ, I want to read this it, comment. He's got COVID XP. COVID XP. <laughs> and then... I, I, I um, uh, one thing, again, as we've mentioned, filler episode, so it's not going to stick to topic. I, I saw a tweet that made me feel absurdly old. Someone um, uh, uh, posted a video of, of Windows 98 screensaver, the underwater one. Yeah. And I think he saw it. It was like, I'm this year's old. And it was like, the my concern of it was, I remember that screensaver being a thing. And yeah. if you left it on and you forgot your computer was on, out of nowhere, you just hear... Yeah, it made a noise. But I didn't. I've never had a PC. Like I've never had a Windows computer. But I remember at school, like in the IT lab, where that would come on, and like it would just fucking immediately like because it was that was our study hall. Study hall. The IT lab. My my concern was sound engineers. Like at what point are they like creating this? Like oh, let's just let's get a lot of bubble effect and also random other sound effects, and we won't even like like gradually bring them in we'll just fucking blurt them out like immediately on this god awful tin can of a speaker for you maybe they didn't have the technology but they do for uaps Ooh. I, i'm i'm sorry I, I can't get over him not calling him a nonce i can't i, I can't well i've not spoke i've not really spoke to him afterwards he tried I'll, to it, <laughs> i was like i was so annoyed i was like <laughs> Prince Andrew in coach. But I know what happened. If I'd been there with him, he would have got carried away and would have been a complete dickhead. Oh, brilliant. That, but that if I... Be, we know, though, would yeah, have been the, like the, fucking the, sinking a whiskey or something. Yeah, we, just, we would have got... Oh, and then he would have got... Then plane would have got landed where he, if we just went... <laughs> nonce. Just we're, fucking we're, launched out. Like. We weren't talking about that. We weren't talking about him. What? Why would we... How, why does he think we're talking about him? Right. Just, we keep saying, <laughs> like, nonce. <laughs> Nonce! And they're going. Like, why is he getting angry? He's we're, not gonna, a we're talking about he? him. I'm talking about my mate. Like, yeah. it's the thing we just call our mates nonces. So, <laughs> no, not like, it's clearly you know we're talking about. Judges, You'd have to have found out what the um what Epstein's island was kind it, of the, like, geographically was, known as, and been like, excuse me, I thought this was going. To... Wasn't it called like Saint F- Philip's Saint or Saint Nonce? Saint Nonce's Island. Saint Nonce's Island. Saint Noncington. I'll tell you what, we need a, an award for this filler. We're just inviting JJ back in. Yeah. Right now. But, um, yeah. He's just sitting there. Like, he's, he's got four little bars, but he's just not come on the screen yet. His little, his little picture. <laughs> there There's he is. There's his gorgeous face. You missed the whole story about my mate being on a plane with Prince Andrew this week. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't call him a nonce. He didn't even do the cough nonce. The cut nonce. Nonce. <laughs> Hang he on. didn't do it, and then he was, was you, like upset that I had to go. Was your mate on a flight with Prince Andrew this week, or you were just talking about it this week? No, he was on it f- three days ago. He was three rows back from Prince Andrew on a flight, but I don't know. I didn't ask him where we we're going because I was so annoyed that he didn't call him a nonce. Pedo Island. I, I like how as well that they they pro- the royal family were probably like if we put him in first class. Everyone's going to know it's Prince Andrew. So if we knock him back into coach, yeah, they just think it's just a random just be an pedophile. Unfortunate lookalike. Yeah, he just might look like a pedophile, but not. Do you reckon he's just a, it's just a regular? It's just a regular just... pedophile, not a royal pedophile. <laughs> he's like, he's not even. It's so hot in here, and he's not even sweating out there. <laughs> 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 uh, oh yeah. Right back on topic. Ben was mentioning how Ed, Eddie Bravo conditioning. Yeah, go back. UFOs. You, we are conditioned to believe that UFOs are coming, I think. And then there's going to be this fake hologram, like UFO, inva- like alien invasion to try and unite the world and make the new world order. Thoughts. Thoughts, JJ. Yeah, I would. Because I've got something to follow <laughs> up with. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> sounds, it, it just sounds possible. Uh, uh, it sounds uh, possible. I believe that. <laughs> I mean, it just, so, with everything that's going on at the moment, it's just like... It fucking wouldn't surprise me if like King Kong and fucking Godzilla just arrived. Like it, it really wouldn't surprise me. Like seeing the news every morning, like Middle Earth. It's fu- like not Middle Middle Earth. Is it no no? What is it? Um, is Hollow it? Earth. Hollow Earth. Yeah. Like that seems to have just when that was in Kong vs Godzilla. Like watching that, I was fucking super surprised. I was like, what? It's- like they're actually dabbling in this? <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. You can't, you can't- hear me. He, it's, it's recording he's just gone he's oh he can't hear us he's, he could not hear us still 
He can't. Oh, he, yeah. I can see him moving, but he can't yeah, hear Yeah, I didn't hear a word of that. It just went into the Matrix. Oh, it was it. just like... Me it was like Cog versus Cog. Yeah. Have you got anything else connected to Wi-Fi in your in your bedroom? Like nothing phone nothing in my house. Oh. But well, my internet, my internet we... speed's fast, so I don't know what's going on. It's, oh, it's very interesting how we're like talking like conditioning and stuff like that and how Kong vs. Godzilla come out. And I just expected it to just be like... I keep hearing you say Converse Godzilla. <laughs> Converse Godzilla. And it's Godzilla wearing Converse. Yeah. Converse Massive pair. But yeah, uh, oh, Kong vs. Godzilla. And how we know that Kong is on Skull Island and we know just Godzilla just turns up whenever he wants. But then they just... Like watching that film and they were just like, oh, by the way, Hollow Earth. I just remember being like, oh, fuck me, what? That came out like left. I've not seen it. Completely out of nowhere. But it's... He, he can't hear us. Can you hear us? <laughs> this is fucked. <laughs> uh, see, we can hear you perfectly. We can hear you perfect. It's very, very strange. It's very strange. Why don't you turn your incoming video off? Turn the video off. Turn our video off. I didn't hear. Turn incoming video <laughs> off. If anybody wishes to buy our podcast and yes. produce us better, please do. Yeah. It will help us. Oh <laughs> beyond belief. Turn incoming video off, JJ. How do I do that? How do I do that? Uh, wait, click on like, <laughs> pe- pe- like right click on my name and I think you can turn incoming video off. I really hope people like us enough to listen. I like, to I hope they really <laughs> enjoy this bit where we do technical support because I'm not <laughs> editing it out. Oh my God. It's Trouble so shit. fucking shit. Uh, Anytime you two are we about can... to say anything interesting, it just goes. It's so weird, though. It's so weird, it JJ, because we're getting HD, HD, you and audio. I'm wondering if we should possibly connect to him via one of our phones so he can hear us. Like, regardless. <sighs> Get out. Uh, can you hear me now, JJ? Yeah, it's perfect. You can't. Ah, All right, right. It's perfect. Um, I can see you as well, right. and it's perfect. So what, we turn, yeah. what we're leading to is the idea of conditioning. Being conditioned and the fact we've got disclosure coming really soon. Can you still hear me? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. yes. So, you need to nod more. Favourite favorite post off of Reddit that I've had saved for quite a while. And I'm really I'm so happy that I'm able to bring this to the podcast now. So there was a question asked seven years ago on Reddit, on R Ask Reddit. And it's titled Alien Abductees of Reddit or People Who Have Claimed to See a UFO, What's Your Story? Brackets, serious replies only. Now, this comment is is big. It's And I think we can read it and then discuss, read a paragraph, discuss. It's big, but it's so detailed and uh, well, he's, he can't hear us. No, I can't. Can. I can hear you. I'm okay. just, right. I'm just you laughing to, at Ben. Just give us a nod. And let Ben's face so, just like... It's, it's eye roll. It, it's. <laughs> uh, are you, have you read this comment then? Nah. No. Okay. <laughs> He's just still pissed off at Chris Belcher, not calling him. I a can't nuts. believe we didn't call him a nun. <laughs> I was going, nuns, nuns, nuns. nuns. Oh, I, st- I still can't believe that Prince Andrew is travelling in fucking standard economy. Oh, uh, he's not allowed to. He's, that's what happens when you become a paedophile, a public paedophile. Well, you're, you're allowed to go. So, if you've got a bit of a cold, you're not allowed to travel, but if you're a nun, you can go where you want. You just have to. Yeah. You just in have coach. to be in economy. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I need to ask Chris where they're going. They're probably going to Thailand. Oh, oh. It'd be interesting to know where he was going. Get some. However, the younger there. Right. So this comment is seven years old, and it's. I I think it's scarily accurate and too coincidental to be absolute bollocks. So, first it begins with throw away account. Throw away account because I'm afraid. I was first abducted in 1987. I was 12 years old. I say abducted, but it does not feel like that. Actually, you go willingly. It's scary, but it's exciting too. And they are somehow able to make you feel okay about things. It's not until later that you feel bad or like you've been violated. And they don't do a lot of probing like raping or it's like anything. scout camp. <laughs> I was just about to say, we're still talking about Prince Andrew. You cut out again there. <laughs> <laughs> this is that flight. <laughs> so, um... It's not until later that you feel bad or like you've been violated. And they do not do a lot of probing, like raping or anything like that. That's Hollywood nonsense. They look inside of people. Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Fuck me. What is going on? It's <laughs> synchronicity. We've been too far. We haven't <laughs> talked to each other for like three months. We've got to get the nonsense out of it. 
Right, they look inside of people sometimes, but they have machines that do it. Not really machines, but it's like a room where things are, uh, things get done and the walls are, it's hard to explain. So just imagine that the, all the walls are kind of like x-ray machines. That's the easiest way I can describe it. Sometimes there would be others there. Uh, sometimes there would be others there and they would be looking into them or they'd put them under and cut them open. But not usually, it's quite rare. They took tissue samples from all of us. I think, and they never put you. I, I, sorry, they took wank into this. From all of us, I think, <laughs> and they never put you under or give you any anaesthetic or anything. <laughs> this just sounds like a really shit doctor. It just sounds like it sounds like this, like it's sex. Like, believe me, it's it just sounds like every like child abuse like scandal ever. You'll love the next. There's, there's rooms. <laughs> they just poke this is you. a line of duty episode. <laughs> they just poke you. They just poke you. <laughs> They just poke you with like these things, uh, like uh, those things that take samples of the ocean floor, uh, like that, but really small. They pull out chunks of you. It's usually done on the butt or on the lower back. I think you're right. It's is actually a. a this is John Benet Ramsey. She had two little fucking uh, things in the bottom of her back. She did. She was Jean a goddamn alien. And that was meant to be a litter picker, wasn't it, or something like that? Was one of the it could have been, wasn't yeah. it? No, there was many so, things. One of them was meant to be a Skeletrix track. Some shit. Yeah, that's it. No, yeah, no, train track. track. That's the one you thought it was. It. Or a teaser. So, that's what you thought it was. I thought it was aliens. <laughs> mostly, so it says, mostly they talked with me, just questions, and they'd show me things like television shows and things like that. They'd ask me questions about them. I think the walls measure our reaction to things too, same as they, uh, same as they take x-rays. I don't know. <laughs> you like that. <laughs> you like that. <laughs> but it's the feeling that I got. They never let you ask questions about what they are de doing. Even once I got friendly with a few of them, oi, oi, they uh, they just do not like it when you ask them questions. They hate it. You can't understand their language. It just sounds like, hmm. I'm positive that we'll never be able to communicate with them in their language. I should mention that they these are the greys that you hear about, except they aren't grey. They are sort of beige, much like the fire in the sky aliens. Uh, they are sort of beige and it's close and, and they are cl uh, fuck me what's going on with it yeah. E.T. was beige wasn't he what, he's brown yes he was yeah um, I should mention that they had a grey yeah they are sort of beige and it's clothes anyway I think that's a bit of a typo that he's written so they aren't naked I don't know if there are others people say there are but I've only ever met these anyway you cannot understand them but they can understand you and they can put thoughts into your head but they can't hear your thoughts you have to speak to them they cannot hear very well or else they are not good. Or, yeah, sorry, this guy's language is a little sort of broken. Yeah, he sounds like he's fucking yeah, they cannot molested. Hear very he's been well, molested by aliens. Or yeah. else they are not good at understanding English. So you have to speak loudly and slowly. I don't know if they have, uh, I don't know if they understand other languages, but I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, they are interested in all of us, in everything that goes on. They like a lot of things about our culture too. They like some of our music. Bluegrass is their favorite. <laughs> listen to bluegrass. I remember, like, uh, so they used to be like, Taking Back Sunday, bluegrass tribute, and stuff like that on Spotify. Yeah, that's sick. Um, <laughs> it's sick. So no wonder they like it. This, do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the scene in Bill and Ted uh, Excellent Adventure where they're describing what Socrates likes. He likes oh, yeah. baseball. <laughs> <laughs> and his favorite food is ice cream. <laughs> it's that's probably it. not that, but <laughs> they love the African instrument. Uh, they love the African instrument that looks like a gourd with thirteen strings. They love it. It's not a cannot... sitar, is it? Is that a sitar? No, that's they it. fucking love it. <laughs> they love they it. They love the gourd. Yeah. They love the gourd tar. <laughs> but they cannot. They cannot stand horns or horn music. So oh, they hate yeah, classical I get that. music and jazz. <laughs> I think trumpets. So they really hate ska. They hate really ska. ska. They hate ska music. <laughs> they hate ska. <laughs> um, I saw a brilliant meme earlier. It's a, uh, ska is the music that plays in the kids' head when they get told they can have ice cream for dinner. <laughs> Uh, well, I think we've. I th no, but I live for the I scar. think we've solved the issue of what happens if they invade us. <laughs> just just yeah. get a fucking. Play scar. Just put on the Tony Hawk Pro Get 2 soundtrack and we're fucking. We're sorted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've taken me up just about every two years. I'd say since 1987, just about around that time. Sometimes it's more often. I didn't go up at all between 1995 and 2000. They usually keep me for what feels like a day, but it turns out to be for four hours or at least. 
Usually, the longest I've stayed with them was three weeks. During that time, they made me make phone calls and keep up appearances. They really, they aren't really bad. Well, I was going to say people, but they're not really bad people or whatever they are. The two that I got sort of close with told me they call themselves Jack and G. But they can't speak. So how could they say, this is the story starting to change now? Put so in, they Putting things in his head, though. Oh, yeah, right. Jack and Gina. We are Jack and Gina. We are Jack and Gina. We are Jack and Gina. No, because he hums, didn't he? Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like um, what's the what's um, Ned Ned from South Park? They're coming right for us. Oh yeah, that guy. Uncle, uh, no, what was his, um, I thought they were the crash test. Was it the? Is it Mike and the Mechanics? No, that's crash test. I don't know what that song is. Crash so test. Now, same one, same now band. Now we're getting to the bit that, well, it, that is really utterly convincing. <laughs> I uh, fucking hope so. I don't. Well, so far, yeah, I've so been far, he's been molested by <laughs> yeah. a group of people that don't speak to him. <laughs> so far, this could possibly be a victim of Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Andrew. So anyway, the two that I got to sort of cl uh, sort of close with, they told me they were called Jack and Gina. I don't know if they are male or female, Jack and Gina. or Let's even see if, if that was their names. They're aliens. Well, if it was, <laughs> this well, is what I Jack and Gina. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my name is Jack. It's a very weird name. I know you don't know. No, we have Jacks in England <laughs> yeah, in our country. <laughs> really? Well, what about Gina? <laughs> yeah, we have them too. And Gina. So, he, he ends it by saying, well, he ends this paragraph by saying, um, I don't know whether they're male or female or even if they have different sexes, uh, but I know that those aren't their real names. They are just names that they've mm. told me. This is the bit that kind of, I, I think a lot of people have been commenting on is, bearing in mind this comment was made seven years ago. Seven years ago. People. They will make contact with Earth on a wide scale in 2021. That's the year when they'll land here or colonize or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what their plan is. <gasps> no, they no, no, you're cutting out. You're cutting out. Oh no, he's no, back. No, he's no, back. No, he's back. No, he's you, back. Actually, you actually were cutting out. This is like. I think it's get. I, I think he's being interfered it's the chips with. We've got in our arms, Ben. There's a UFO out there. <laughs> they're, 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 you need to. Imagine if that happened now. Put during news, the podcast. Put newspaper all over your windows right now. <laughs> I've already black blanked out this one yeah. to put to write little notes on. Okay, so <laughs> they will make contact with Earth on a wild, wide scale in 2021. Uh, that's the year when they'll land here or colonize or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what their plan is. They don't seem to be evil or dangerous. Their planet is, so they told me anyway, a very long way away. They couldn't explain to me how far. They said because it was too far to, for me to understand and it was also close to the side, in commas. Um, I have no idea what that meant, but it's always stuck with me. Home is too far away for you to understand, but also... Oh, sorry, sorry. We don't have anything that they want, so they told me. So I don't really know why they come here or why they've taken so many of us up or why they've gotten to be friends with me. They do not have any religion and they don't need oxygen or water or trees or anything. I don't, I don't the think. The ultimate molester. They don't eat people. Oh, there we go. So they can't. Yeah, they don't they, eat people. They don't eat people. I don't think they want us to uh, want to breed with us or genetically <laughs> engineer us. I don't know what they want, but they've been. <laughs> But they've been coming here for, I'd guess, at least ten or twenty thousand years. Now that's a fucking. Hold on a minute. They've ten been coming here for possibly or twenty thousand or a fucking millennium. So they, do they mean? No, I think 10. it means ten or twenty thousand, not not ten. Oh, not yeah. not uh, between, between ten, 10 years 000. and twenty thousand. No, sorry, yeah, yeah. And sorry, yeah. 20, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've been coming between ten years. 20,000 years. Um, I can't really tell. One of the things between, before... Between Bible and evolution. I forget about it. He <laughs> says we come close. We're close to the side. Maybe it's fucking yeah. David's dish. David's disc. And you know, he was talking about outside planets. Maybe the they're like... Flat. That is proof the world is flat. Or another thing. You know when you always see that fucking... That diagram and it's like that. And it's like constantly going inside itself. Yeah. What happens if that's what's happening with our... So we're, you know. we're like moving to out towards yeah. the outside and then it kind of just goes underneath and then oh. comes back round and then keeps going back round. And they're on the side. And they're right on the side. Because yeah, time, time would slow down there as well. So See? You're both that's laughing. A, that's a, 10 to 20,000 20, years. Yeah. years. <laughs> so on that note, so, I'm okay, going to go for yeah, a piss. Yeah. I can still hear you. But. Okay, so he said, I guess at least 10 or 20,000 years. I'm not very good about history and upper paleothic. Paleothic? What is it? Paleo Paleoli Paleolith Paleolithic and all that. Paleolithic. But they've got video and all sorts of stuff, and they've showed me video of Neanderthals and Cro. Oh, brilliant. Cro Magnum, uh, Cro -Magnum, Cro -Magnum man. 
from, oh, right. from Which Man. really were just like humans, except they had all black skin, way less di uh, diversity, and all sorts of other human-like things. Uses or whatever. And they showed me video of the pyramids being built and this huge stone building that I guess is lost somewhere or was destroyed, but it was in Europe. I could tell from the video. Uh, uh, that's what I could tell from the video. They have video of them talking with all sorts of people what? all throughout the history of Earth. They showed me some of them and asked me questions about them, but I couldn't understand any of it because I only speak English and even English from 200 or 300 this, years ago. This is Bill and Ted. He's, he's been, he showed him Bill and Ted. He's like, I saw he's Socrates, he likes baseball. This, this is a synopsis. <laughs> this is just a very intelligent observation. This, is, this just strikes me as if the guy is telling the truth and he's not just doing a wind up, which I think he's probably just winding everyone up. It was a pretty fucking good wind up. I know he spent a lot of time doing just, that. Yeah, we just made a yeah, but he's just he's just picked some sometime seven years in the future. And like, it's just that's far perfectly. far enough far enough in advance that that um that people like go oh yeah we can't well we don't know do we? But considering disclosure that's happening at the moment, yeah. like you've got to all oh, right ah this right okay let me last last paragraph and a half. I'm sorry, everybody. I think yeah, it's dangerous you, you two that... being in a room together, to be honest. Like, <laughs> there is such a divide in what you're both saying. It's like... Just sitting there like this. <laughs> they show, yeah, they showed me some of them, asked me questions about them. I couldn't understand any of it because I only speak English, and even English from 200 or 300 years ago is so different that I could hardly understand it. So I told them the that English. they probably knew more about it than I did. I was up there for three weeks. That was the last time. I'm pretty sure that I'll go up there again in a couple of years, but I'm not really sure. So what what, what uh, date was this, sure Dean? Sorry, that. what was this last date that he'd... Oh, Christ. Um, the last date he went up was... Oh, Christ, hold on. He said he didn't go up between 95 and 2000. And this was seven years ago. So he went up about 2013, oh, yeah. maybe. So here's, here's the kind of the kicker, I guess. I was up there three weeks ago. This was the last time. I'm pretty sure that I'll go up again in a couple of years, but I'm not sure after that. The whole program, or whatever they call it, is going to change in July 2021. Whoop, whoop! It's I my birthday! They, I think they said, when is your birthday? 18th of July. Are you fucking joking? Oh, God. Here we go. I think they said 8th, but it could also have been the 18th. Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you write this off your face on, like, some sort Worst of Worst birthday ever. <laughs> We went to Ben's for a barbecue. Uh, and a UFO we, landed. We got abducted by aliens. We were probed for 48 hours. So. Well, that sounds like the best. Uh, well, it's birthday. I think they said 8th, but it could also have been the 18th. I wasn't hearing very well. They weren't trying to intimidate me or even to warn me. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. We should do a, a live episode. One major error there. Days. He said, I wasn't hearing very well. He's already said that he didn't understand what they were saying. So what, what does he mean? Was he not hearing very well in his inner dialogue? Maybe. I don't. He didn't elaborate. I'm not too sure. Mm. Um, well, he needs to elaborate. Why did you say names with Jack and Gina? So, um, I hope they don't show... What's this? Uh, they weren't trying to intimidate me or even to warn me, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. I hope they don't show the videos they took of me when they first started taking me up because I was so scared and young and they are embarrassing. Uh, edit. I changed uh, an accidentally racist bit in oh, yeah, there that someone it. pointed out. Changed, they were all black to all had black skin. Way less diversity. <laughs> Edit, no more questions. They are not happy with me. Sorry. <laughs> they are not happy with him. Wait, has he asked, answered any questions? Now, well, no, he doesn't after that. It's literally no, you go to the account that he, look, he calls it throwaway alien. And it's literally the only post that he. So made. he didn't reply to anyone. No, he didn't reply to anyone at all. Yeah, because he's, only, he's oh, oh no, hold he's on. Been oh, wait, whoa, 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 he's whoa, definitely whoa, been sectioned. He's definitely been sectioned. whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa progress um, i genuinely think that guy is just a really good storyteller <laughs> this i don't this think he's that great of a storyteller Thanks. <laughs> but but the reason that i find that so significant is a seven-year-old comment that granted is now i've read it back myself it does sound batshit nuts and there's a lot of contradiction here and there and you can really pick like pick it apart but considering disclosure and considering july 2021 and what's happening now, that to me is a, an absurd coincidence. Do you think that, that it's my birthday as well makes it even weirder? Probably. That is, a, is that a synchronicity? That, that that thing that Dean read out was on my birthday, didn't know it was my birthday. And do you think subconsciously, because I've been out drinking with you on your birthday on several occasions, that it might have you been might a date have that's it, just yeah. sitting in the back He's of like, my head? I've seen that. No, because you didn't, you, mm, don't know. Well, let's see if he's replied to anyone. 
See what he said. So you've mentioned not believing the stories of other up abductees because of one-time abductions, uh, probing abuses, and sleep being involved in the story. You also mentioned that their word is both their world is both far away and close by. If the ones who take you seem to be roughly equivalent to college students, do you think it's possible that some abduct abductors come with less benign intent and less organized backing? Is it possible that their species is as diverse as ours in personality? Is it then possible that some are serial killers, sadists, weirdos, etc.? I realise that a precise answer is probably impossible, but are you willing to speculate based on your understanding of them? Now, he replies with, tough to say, I think that yes, it's possible there could be crazies out there, but the ones who take me are just very cold and professional. It seems like coming here would be really expensive or very difficult, and so I don't think they could just come here on a whim and murder for fun. But maybe I guess what I'm saying is that I get the feeling that their, organi their organized backing is definitely necessary, but that motives could be different. And then someone replied with what the You fuck? see, that just sounds um, like jargon afterwards, because I'm just like, yeah. what the fuck is he on about? It does, it does. Um, so I, I, I still think that there is, I, I would, it wouldn't surprise me. Now, do you, do you both believe that people have been abducted? Like, no. let's just get that. I do. Out. I don't think, I, do. I, don't, I, I think people have had uh, traumatic experiences that they've, uh, subconsciously, uh, reimagined into abduction. Shouldn't. Which is possible with yeah. like hypnosis and because um... you watch like even in, we go back to Hellier uh, as it is it seems like a there's a lot of synchronicities there is that they managed to hypnotize someone into believing that they'd been they'd had an alien abduction he he never he he didn't believe in aliens before he was hypnotized and they put the thought in his head and he now believes that he was abducted by aliens and that before the hypnosis. He would just been it been wiped from his memory, and now right. he and now he believes in aliens and that he was abducted. He doesn't believe that they important. Imp oh, he's gone again. He <laughs> did, they didn't believe. He didn't believe that he was hypnotized to believe in aliens. He believes that he was hypnotized to unveil what the, was what happened to him. Suppressed, suppressed, uh, suppressed incidents, suppressed memory. Yeah, yeah and yeah. that was purely through hypnosis. So, I I don't believe in alien abductions. Really? That I'm very surprised. And I was just I would literally pause there thinking, I'm gonna get abducted as I say that. <laughs> I like it. Swinder just <laughs> I was like, now I get abducted abducted now I've said that. <laughs> JJ. Uh yeah, I, I believe I think I think that Travis Walton one. Uh, I don't know if you watched the Joe Rogan, I thought it was yep. absolutely I, incredible. Like yep. fully believe I fully believe that he believes he was up that yeah abducted. I don't I do I think the other people involved as well, like they're all, they've all basically said off record that w what happened was unexplainable. Like, and what's interesting as well is one of them has, still has a disdain for um, Travis Walton, and the both of them didn't get on. Yeah, and even he was just like something happened. Yeah, whereas I, he was very upfront with his dislike for him, they've... and I felt like. They, they, they could you wouldn't go if you didn't like someone you wouldn't go along with something no. like that and he also that they they've checked the site of the abduction and all sorts of stuff and it's all triggered like uh extra readings on fucking grammar grammars or whatever they're called the the fucking all the, all the, the trees had yeah all the tre the trees had started like growing like away from the quicker yeah and away from the fucking the site as if they were like trying to yeah. And they said that they was, didn't. They do like a cross section of the tree, and there was like a huge part of the ring of the tree that was like either burnt or charred, like on the rings, but on the side of it, where yeah. he said that he got abducted. I just feel like stuff like that, especially for like kind of backcountry kind of dudes. I think for the, like lad lads who work on fucking tree cutting down tree logging. Yeah, yeah, they're not like us, are they? They're not like. Highly imaginative. They don't, yeah, fucking, they're not here to talk shit. Yeah. yeah, they're not here to talk shit they're all about, because they like, get called out on it rather quickly. Yeah. And another one Miller was... Miller Lite um, and racism, the, that's all they like. <laughs> and the Betty... Uh, is it Betty, Betty, and, Betty? Betty and Barney Hill mm. or whatever. Is it, yeah, I think it was Betty and Barney Hill. They were like the most famous one. Yeah. And as, and as well, considering that that occurred in the 50s, I yeah. believe. And they were a mixed race couple. Mixed race couple. Definitely against the, 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 the human norm. code. So for them to come out was, with this story... I would unveil their relationship, I guess. And, yeah. Uh, did you see? Better Barney. Yeah, better Barney. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. we. T it's been so long since we talked about it, but did you see that uh, when Joe Rogan interviewed Angela Hill, the UFC fighter? 
Yeah, it was yeah, her, and it's her grandparents. great grandparents <laughs> or her grandparents. Yeah. And she told him after. Yeah, right yeah, at the end, and he's just like, podcast. "What the fuck?" He's like, "Why do <laughs> you tell me this now?" <laughs> and as well with that abduction case, um, Betty uh, through hypnosis, wasn't it? She she was able to draw or um, uh, Z- she was able to pinpoint where Zeta Reticula, yeah. the uh, yeah. galaxy, was before. Like it had, through it, hypnosis, though. Right, but. If nobody is still, to, how does she even know where that is? Or what yeah, they, they wouldn't have fucking. They wouldn't have known that at that time. No, no way. There's no way to. I was it. reading and an interesting well, article the other week about, um, you know, like everyone talks about like the percentages of your brain. Um, mm. Some like I'll have to find the article because I haven't got it in front of me now because I've just remembered about it. But um, some like super mathematician. I was actually reading about cryptocurrencies, uh, mm-hmm. and. He believes that the part of the brain that we can't access is actually encrypted data that's gonna continue continue our species on. He believes it's like. Have you ever heard of the Jade tablets? The, no. So what? they're basically uh, tablets of like Jade the stone, yeah. and they're basically what Noah's Ark is based on. So they believe that this this thing has all of our data on to keep the world going. And they believe that all the DNA data for all the animals in the world are inscribed in these jade tablets. That's it's like that's the best what the, SSD drive in the world. Yeah, and basically that's what these UFOs or whatever use as a backup if they come back to Earth and it's been completely fucked. <laughs> So if basically, like, it, click save. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, as if we, if we, as if we delete the hard drive. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. If, as if you, rem- <laughs> you remove USB device without uh, ejecting. It's like, but yeah, oh, yeah. Th- this this crypto guy is like, since working on blockchain, he's kind of realised the similarities between. Um, and this the simulation. This is why everybody's talking about this Fibonacci retracement thing because that Fibonacci thing comes up all the time in anything, in everything what? to do with life or. Uh, yeah. Does. What is it like? A is it like a formula? It's a, like calculation? It's a formula. Plus yeah. Two plus, yeah. So it's basically it, it comes up everywhere. It comes up. It's coming up now in um, in cryptocurrency, and what? it's been a thing in stocks and shares since they started. So basically, um, you have a pattern, and it always repeats that pattern. And people are saying, are humans subconsciously repeating that pattern because it's what it's encoded in their DNA? So it's the same. I don't know if you remember when he was talking about how this bone here is twice the length of this bone and this bone is twice the length of this one and this one's twice the length of that and then yep. that's the fibonacci yeah yeah so that yeah. that michelangelo painting is is the fibonacci about the fibonacci sequence it's the fi- yeah it's the physical form of the fibonacci yeah. formula so what the fuck it's a there's a tool song that uses it as well yeah they t- of course tool, tool made a well tool made a fucking it. album like three albums yeah. where you play them over the top of each other and they play in synchronization yeah. you're just like what the fuck so have you ever seen, I, I'm sure we've already talked about this, but have you ever seen, um, we've kind of gone off on a tangent here, but have you ever seen that when you played Dark episode. Side of the Moon and watch Wizard of Oz? Yeah, but well, I, see, I was talking to a friend about this and yeah, it does line up. Absolutely. The feeling of it does. It does line up. But but if you if you can, you can do that with pretty much anything. You can get, so you could, if you if you do something what enough times, you can find meaning. Yeah. But w- and it's the, like, it, it, but that's the human brain. That's the human that, brain again, looking for patterns. Yeah. But the the, code. the pattern, yeah, patterns na- the pattern meaning. naturally goes to the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. Um, so no matter- have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen the secret? The film, the secret. No. No. What's, I've never no. heard of it. It's some like self help. It's, a, thing, it's it? a self-help thing, which is basically all yeah. about the Fibonacci sequence. So yeah. all, the all these really oh, rich fucking people. So they talk about Mozart and they Oprah. talk about uh, like all these really fucking like successful people and how they all yeah. had the secret. So the, they believe that this secret is in all these things that we watch on fucking Indiana Jones films, like the Ark of the Covenant yeah. and all the fucking, all that stuff. And they believe that that is yeah, in a, in, Brown, in the it? fucking right. scroll or the DNA of Jesus or all this fucking what the shit. Fuck. So obviously me and Ben and you are like, are clearly obviously different sizes and stuff like that but no matter what the bone for instance in my finger that one there yeah it's ha- no matter how tall i am yeah it's double it, it's like mathematically equal yeah or du- it doubles and then it doubles yeah. again and then and it's all based on this all based on the fibonacci sequence 
which is and it's like it, it's I can't even remember. Not the football team, Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce. <laughs> <laughs> not the Turkish football team. <laughs> or the French Dur. I don't know what the French Dur is called, but I know it's got a f- I, n- Noki. I, Fibonacci. Fibonacci. Noki. That's it. Fibonacci. Yeah. So like I. Uh, th- this this is the reason why we do this podcast because fucking life is so fucked up. Like we're talking about like we're discuss- but it's not fucked up. It's the perfect equation. <laughs> it's that's the like. It's well, the it, no, you, yeah. yeah, you're right. Like, it's it's, like but have you have you ever no seen chaos. those? You ever seen those fucking? Um, they're like it's all they're, uh, they're, uh, they're a type of broccoli. And have you ever seen it? And it's like it's Cauliflower? it's like a flower of life. <laughs> have you ever seen yeah. it? Yeah. No. So ev- no, every yeah. plant, every plant has that's the Fibonacci. The, that is the, that's the fin about Fib- Fibonacci. Ah, okay. So Rabbits four, and eight, six, 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 six. it's the it's, it's the, the last sn- number it's multiplied like a by snail, itself, isn't it? And then basically it circles. But but right, ev- go, ev- go on about this broccoli. Every ratio. every single thing on this planet abides by the golden ratio. So a, oh, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah, plant, that, yeah. a plant, yeah, that's it. So Sorry, Biffy, Biffy, Clyro, on, Biffy Clyro writes songs based on that, like that. That's basically really? yeah. So basically, the apparently like all operas, all successful operas, all successful compositions, all based on the on the like the scriptures and the writings and the maths of Fibonacci. Right, and and it's because and the reason they're so successful is then this data that obviously yeah. that is within this music piece or this theatrical performance. Mm-hmm correlates to what obviously is it's apparently you know, it's programmed it, inside our brain it's what it, basically because you're born with that structure in your mind that's what makes yeah. people enjoy it it's mm. that's why it's what successful fuck? so people you know for instance like when you go to see a band and they're like they're a good band but you just can't get into it because it's just so disjointed and it's like all that fucking dillinger escape plan stuff just like did yeah. Did it, did it. It's just got yeah, no structure. No, yeah, no and you just, correct time. I mean, obviously, people but... like it, but it's not. Yeah, it's not enjoyable because you it makes you feel <laughs> uncomfortable. Like some people like being mm. felt uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think it's yeah. Awful, it's the off. It, it's the that off time that makes you get. Yeah. So and we're living not in a simulation. Abiding then, by the system. system. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. see that meme yeah. that was going around? Like I, I've seen my my uh, neighbors bringing groceries, but. Like it, yeah. somebody put up a meme and it was just like proof that we're living in a simulation. Have you ever seen your neighbours seen bringing neighbors? groceries? I was just like, it took me a while to think about it, but I mean, it's been a few times, but not. It's I, but that goes back to the same thing. Is like you know when people say, oh, I don't remember get driving to work this morning. Yeah, it's because you've seen it so many times. Still pissed. You just block... <laughs> I actually yeah. had it. I actually you block it out of your brain. But um, let's go back quickly to the Fibonacci I've sequence to the listeners his... who who don't know what it is. Fibonacci sequence is basically. You is zero one, then you add the one to zero is one. Just then you add the binary. one to one is two. Two to two. And then you add the two, two and three. And two and one is three. Three and two. So you add the nut. The you add the, the number. Remainder. You add the number that you add up together to the to the previous number, and it goes up and up. So it goes from one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four. But this is so on. one of the things that I found interesting about the uh, the Fibonacci thing is so many people are correlating it now to so a lot of crop circles are actually Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah. But one of the big interesting ones that I was reading about was I'd love to remember it off the top of my head. I'll have to go back through my fucking history, but. It was a guy who was saying, what happens, what, you know, do people believe that the Fibonacci sequence that's created your body continues after you, after you are fully grown? So people were saying that they believe that... Does it reverse? It, the en- no, but people, a lot of people were saying it's the energy carries on past you. So... The old, the, goes into the, the older you get and the older you, you know, you, you're basically intaking data from other people. Like we were talking about on the simulation thing, you're taking in knowledge and data, your yeah. sequence gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was reading something about how it, like, you know, for instance, it takes you a certain age to stop caring about what pe- what you people say about you. And like, and right. all those are all like correlating to like spirituality. So like the older you get, the more spiritual mm-hmm. you get because you discard the things that are slowing your your, your, data your processing down, yeah. which yeah. is fuck me. Like mental. Why does it make sense? I hate that this crazy shit makes sense. 
Mm. But it's a sequence. So it, it makes sense. It's, but again, it's 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 finding meaning. It's not like you know. It could be. It could be. It could be real. It, and it could be like spiritual. But it also goes straight back to humans just needing to find meaning in something. And the Fibonacci sequence because it's so. It, it just it's quite diverse in its like it's the, how you can perceive it. Yeah, you can't attach it to things. So I I I I fully I don't want to. I know since we started this podcast, I've gone from like from like episode one with the Paul is dead, where <laughs> I total believe in everything. I've become like the most cynical like like non-believer, logical thought. But thinking. I feel like I have. I I probably believe more than I actually let on, but I like to play this devil's advocate. I think you have to do it, yeah. I, yeah, I, I generally think that the human brain needs to find meaning. And I think what's happened, especially with me, is that I've I've found <clears throat> that I, I've stopped trying to find meaning and trying to kind of embrace the chaos of it. Yeah. And it's and I get that. I get I, that. I think that it's like Fenerbahce sequence, all of that, it's just people trying to find meaning and and it, again, with that alien thing, that guy is just trying to find meaning in the fact that he was like frequently abused. Yeah, yeah, no, like, no. I kind of, I, I, I can see what you're saying, on. and it makes sense as well why throughout history, no matter where you are on the planet, there is like so many different religions because all of these different cultures and people that have throughout the years in the past that haven't had access to everywhere else on the planet, they're obviously like you've got the the, the way I've always looked at it is. Before people discovered certain continents and certain countries and stuff like that, why was everybody mainly looking outside of where they were living for a higher power? Why didn't this one community not need a higher power? Why didn't they just think, oh, we're just here? Yeah. Why do they believe that they were created by something? It's like... um, It's like when they say if you'd put a monkey in a room with a typewriter, it would eventually... Ben, it's all right. Ben just nearly stopped recording. I, I did stop recording the audio, but it's fine. <laughs> but, but it it makes sense with Ben saying at the moment he's fine with like embracing the chaos. Why, why are these like cultures always looking either to the skies or anywhere else for like these overseer creators just for meaning? I, I mean, historically it's, as it's, well, though this is. I mean, this kind of does go back to the Fibonacci thing because it's, if yeah, if everyone's saying, looking towards the sky to now because everything naturally goes from point zero to... There's no direction in anything. It's always that way. So it's like expanding. Right. And I think that's probably the issue that we've got with the UFO thing about them possibly being under sea. Right, because we're still looking... Because now it's coming to a point in human evolution where, let's be real, religion is... So, in the next thousand years or something is probably not going to exist. It's going to be abolished, but it's either going to change drastically because now we're coming to such logic in the sense of, I'm pretty sure whatever's written in the Bible isn't literally as gospel as what yeah. it is. These people have just made a load of shit up. So now that's why we're looking to like, hold on a moment because we're so fucking advanced and technology wise, there's got to be something else out there. That's why we're gradually, is this the data over Pour, pouring out of us like looking for more meaning because it's, we're coming to a point where well religion it yeah. just like there isn't a fucking there isn't a poseidon in the ocean there isn't a big bearded guy in the i mean this is this is but, what's worrying me quite a lot about this vaccine like i'm by no means an anti-vaxxer but adding proteins and stuff in your body that uh, essentially are attacking things that your body would naturally fight off or whatever you know, mm. remember when there was that big thing about like the government putting fluoride in toothpaste to stop people from dream yeah, from dreaming, yeah, yeah. like that yeah. kind of people were dreaming too much. But that kind of stuff, when you look at anything that people are, like the government have told you that's like you know smoking and drinking, and, you know it was all good, all gravy until you know things were found, and then you're like, well, you know what that it's it's that stemming of the imagination that is concerning mm. me. Like that that's what concerns me because. Well, that's I kind of get what you're saying, but the thing with smoking and drinking is that doctors always knew it was bad for you, 
it was just Ill- it wasn't illegal to advertise that it wasn't bad for you right yeah so it was that it, it doesn't take as long for doctors to realize if something's bad or good for you than it as it does for the public because the legislation and all that that it has to go through for someone to say, to say you can't say that anymore like we're lucky in the uk and europe is that we don't get pharmaceutical drugs advertised to us mm. dean in the states they can advertise anything yeah it's crazy like, take valium it's really good for you ask your doctor like that's the advert i mean it's like, like the, 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 the issue it, the, the, the like the, the the issue that i've got with that the, anything that's being you know pushed like to people without no like minimal testing yes it's protecting you from something that might potentially kill you but it's also doesn't have any there's no proof that it doesn't do anything worse and you know, one of the big things that I was thinking about was like, what happens if it is good for us and it's literally protecting us from things that aliens might be fucking shooting on our planet? Like, not like shooting their load. <laughs> Face yeah, beams, but oh, stuff like that. Massive alien dicks just splurging on the but planet. They, uh, Epic cult like, shots from aliens. Green one. pools. <laughs> um, but I just, I just think that there's well, something going something. on with that shit. Like... The, there's there's something going on with it, and it's something it's I, something to do with aliens. It has to be like the government have been yeah, covering it up for years. I, so you, was it on the podcast that I said this that um that I heard someone talking? I think it might have been on the Discord channel. I'm not entirely sure, or it might have been on 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 those conspiracy guys Discord or something. But there was um someone was saying that um COVID is the test. So if you if you get COVID and you stay alive, you have passed the test that you can go, you can board the 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 ship, the UFO out of here, board the ships, and you can leave and go to the Fuck to yes. Earth too. I'm in, yeah, I'm all in. That was, I heard that. It was like I'm in. That's pretty cool, but definitely not. The well, same, I, but, the thing is, but, will we ever know? Will you know? Because I follow this guy, and at first I was following him because it, most of his stuff was political based. It was based on like politics and now it's starting to be getting like i don't know if you know follow him on instagram stew the wanderer he's like southern guy like white teeth like proper perfect white teeth like curly hair he looks like something in, in fucking the only way is essex or some shit like that all right anyway he's <laughs> he's just gone full-blown fucking david ike like he's lost I, well yeah he seems like he's lost his mind but it, yeah. oh so he has got full-blown it's, david it's ike, not yeah. the first time we've said this though that about how the normies are getting like have just gone full they just they, well, they're left on their own and someone's gone so the lizards people are lizards you know that and they've gone fuck me you're right what yeah people are fucking lizards <laughs> no and then they watch one video and they go oh people are lizards yep, and they told them mate and they go look at this video his people eyes are went, lizards his eyes went funny but it weren't pixelation and the video compressing it's yeah. definitely his eyes going his shape shot his 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 shape shifting modern broken <laughs> and they're watching all those videos i don't i, I don't know if you cut out then or it was actually your voice you put <laughs> people talking with uh co- copy <laughs> you know that computer voice that they do on youtube oh yeah Oh yeah, yeah. When it's the look at this image, it look doesn't at this seem image, right. it doesn't seem it. His shape shifting device has malfunction. <laughs> Building seven has fallen. <laughs> like the woman on that uh, full full cabal. Oh my god, yeah, but oh, she's yeah, a fucking she is a robot, isn't she? I could not get through. That's that. what that's what everyone that's what all the normies like ended up watching through but, the whole of the lockdown. Right. Yeah. And now they're all completely anti-vax, anti this, anti that, like Magna Carta that. Uh, like they, I feel I feel this is a difficult conversation for us to have because you've both had it. Like and now I now yeah. I'm just like, yeah. oh my God, they're brainwashed. We're they're getting ter- ship and yeah, you but, wait, mate. No, 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 and no, no, no. I don't believe the it. test is if you get COVID and survive. Not if you get vaccination and survive. Yeah, oh. he, he's had. Yeah, but he's had COVID and survived. Oh yeah. well, but but then you got delivered the wild card. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> see if he passes the second test. That's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I, I. It's interesting you say that normies are now becoming more conspiratorial, which is absolutely 
fucking true because yeah. I remember being in school and being like, yeah, I believe in aliens. And everyone was like, you're fucking mental. Like you're a grunger and you're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All grungers believe in aliens because it's Tom DeLong. That's yeah. that's yeah. fact. <laughs> uh, no, I, I genuinely see... I saw it and like, I, like, I was talking to my brother-in-law because he got proper sucked in because he's a barber. So he was in the same kind of boat as you were, JJ. He couldn't do... He couldn't open yeah. the shop so he couldn't work. And he found himself getting sucked into these like echo chambers on instagram and facebook where the algorithm was feeding him more and more yeah. of what he wanted to see and it was all like the government's against you the government's stopping you working not because of the pandemic the government wants to do this it's trying to reset the finance i mean everything. there and wouldn't be wrong though about that this is what it seems to be bypassing people have you been pulled into no no but there wouldn't be wrong about the resetting of the financing because Dean will be able to yeah. tell you when he goes back to America how much gas prices, food prices, almost yeah. tripled yep. gas. Yep. Um, and for and English people, that's petrol. Well. Um, yeah, and it's crazy as well how crypto is just obviously fucking absolutely like mainstream like, news yeah. at the moment. You know, digital currency. Let's get rid of the cash. Let's fucking pump everything about cryptocurrency: Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin. It, and, it's you know, it's and, worrying it's because Safe Moon, buy Safe Moon, people, buy Safe Moon. It's just worrying because, like, the it's all well and good, but it, it, again, what we said at the beginning of the last, at the end of, whenever our last podcast was, that they're going to start spoon-feeding little breadcrumbs to people. Like, if you take the vaccine, you can go on holiday. So that's what they yeah. said. That's, that's what right. they said. They said, well, you're almost certainly going to need to have the vaccine to go on holiday. They announced the, the Amber traffic light system last week. Don't need the vaccine. You still need to do a test. So yeah. Now, all right, cool. No, still, we're not getting the, we're not meeting the, uh, we're not meeting the quota for people getting their tests. Right, let's move it to eight weeks. We need everyone to get it within eight weeks. Oh no, we've realised that this isn't working. Now we need to give them another vaccine, another third vaccine. Surely people should be just like, they don't know what the fuck is going. Who, but who is guiding this fucking ship? Like, but that's what I said. Probably like week four episode four is that this is the normal now we've we've we already we we abided by the first lockdown thinking we've done the lockdown this will help we'll we do this and then it will kill it and then they gave us another lockdown and another lockdown and then another they get they, they read the tears and then they gave us all these different things and we and then eventually now they tell us to do something we do yeah. it like we're and I, I and i definitely i got the vaccine they sent me a text again do you want to get the vaccine? I said, fuck it. I'll get it. Like, I've got to go abroad for work. Yeah. And if it's going to make my life easier having the vaccine. And then, yeah. And thinking, we're shills for the system immediately. <laughs> but, and then, like JJ just said, traffic light system came out. So, so, what I, is, what, so you still have to, you still have to test and you still have still to have isolate. To test and quarantine. And, yeah, and so this, they're charging it. They're charging for it. So, oh, mate, between 160 so and 600 pounds it's cost to do the test kit. Mate, you want to, so, uh, for, like, I won't go into detail. I've obviously had to come over back to England in an emergency. And um, it has cost. So this also leads me into my my question as how this fucking Indian variant, variant or this new variant has just randomly appeared. So It's fake to get the 10,000 people in Bolt, uh, uh, Bolton who haven't had the vaccine. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, to get and it. up in Scotland, I think it's like 52% or something, something like that. Yeah. So... Before I came over, I had to get a COVID test uh, three days prior to me flying. I had to be negative to be able to go on the flight. I was able to prove that. Also, prior to getting onto the flight, I had to prove that I'd also bought a second day and eighth day vaccine. Yeah. Um, this has now amounted to about £500. Um, now, as well, to break quarantine five days early you from your 10-day you. quarantine, like, it's not like you have to quarantine... But, but if you pay 350 quid, you can do this thing called test to release. And it's the same as the second day and eighth day vaccine. Uh, sorry, um, COVID uh, test. But we're just going to give you another one for even more money for 350 pounds. And that just allows you to break uh, um, quarantine early. What? So that's, right. that's almost, so that's almost, well, it's over half, half the amount it costs to stay in a fucking hotel. With your with yep. your meals, which you get yeah. seventeen hundred and fifty quid, and you get you you get three meals a day, and you stay in a fucking hotel, and they come and give yeah, you a test. 
fortunately i'm able to stay at home mm. um where, where my, my where my dad lives um four tests i've had to have prior to being allowed to come into the country how the fuck and you've been vaccinated random variant appeared in britain when people are supposed to be having like fucking god knows how many vaccines to even get into the country because <laughs> they in india uh boris johnson they went right we're gonna lock down india so every other country in the world including bangladesh one of the poorest countries in the world stopped people coming into bangladesh from india almost instantly guess how long it took bear in mind bangladesh did it it took england two weeks after bangladesh did it to lock to stop people come back from india boris johnson said if you're in india uh you can come home what uh come home now so it's his own fucking fault so he brought he brought them back he invited them back floppy head cunt didn't test anyone just brought them back any english nationals that were stuck in india come home now and it's got me thinking actually the fact that you've sat there and said that like i'm vaccinated and i still have to abide in the same way that someone isn't have you, so you'll you'll know that right uh, i was speaking to ben before you arrived um so the CDC have said that in America, once you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. That's basically the bri- the yep. bribery that you've that you've been given over there. Certain other Mich- countries. Yeah, Michigan's. Sorry, go on. Sorry, Michigan's fully unmasked. Okay, so certain other certain other countries have given given other protocols. So like, I think one of them was that they were, weren't business owners would only allow to be reopen once they'd had their first vaccine. And allowed staff back and stuff once they'd had their second vaccine. If every single country does that, that's basically working out which which one the people will listen to the most. And then it's kind of going to be the one where, right, we know that people... And it's basically a fucking huge survey of what people are willing huge willing experiment. to do to fucking have their freedoms back. You know... And it, yeah, like... It, in England, don't get any freedoms. People just did it willingly. Yeah. Like me. Yeah, it's fucking horrifying. Because when you I think thought about it. It, but the thing is, though, I, yeah, I was convinced that the vaccine rollout was gonna make everything. That's go back that's the reason I had taken it, and for a really strange reason, I'm the only person in my shop who hasn't been offered it, and I'm not the youngest by a long shot. People younger than me, it's like so 30, they, 31, them, uh, I, a, a girl is shot. 29, she's been offered it. Yeah, it's like I'm seeing a lot of debates on Twitter twitter with um people that uh are, 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 um are replying to tweets of people saying for instance biden tweeted didn't he some say something uh get vaccinated or wear a mask like it's that simple and then there was a lot of people debating um through that tweet there was one person that said like if people don't want to get vaccinated um and they're having restrictions against them why am I being given these restrictions when I'm being vaccinated? Yeah. Like, and I don't, someone was just like, there's something in the game that isn't fucking, there's something like, there's a move being made on this chessboard that is illegal right now. Yeah. And not making sense. I honestly, I honestly think the masks me. is, uh, I genuinely think it's fucking people's brains up. Like, I honestly, I went out the other week and I, I'm walking around and I have to wear masks to walk into a bar. We walked into this bar. We had to wait for a little bit to go outside. So you have to walk through this bar to go outside. That's fair enough. That's not a conspiracy. Uh, by the time I'd sat down, I was just like, I feel like shit. I feel like my li- literal brain is just like shrunk. And I'm fucking, I'm going to the gym, right? Down the road from where I live. There's people, just there's people around. working out with masks on. I'm like, are you a yeah. fucking idiot? Really? Yeah. In, in my you don't have to, you don't have to wear a mask. But there's people wearing people them wear because they don't feel comfortable. Your, I'm just like my but, gym. They don't wear the masks. No, no but, one even cleans up after themselves now. But I'm with, <laughs> but I'm with Jay. I'm with JJ uh, in this because when I went into the gym that where I used to work, I subconsciously I went in with a mask because I was just like, okay, I'm just abiding by what rules here. I got up there, no one is wearing a mask. Like nobody, they're cleaning shit, but nobody is wearing a mask. And I remember sitting there and questioning myself. I was like, I'm going to keep my mask under my chin because I don't want to look like a cunt. Like, no, you don't have to wear a mask in the like, gym. But I was like, what, not, no one else is wearing this, so why am I doing this? this? You don't have to. No. You, one of the things, they, was, they suggest you wear it when going from one machine to another, but you don't have to wear it while working out. But What's the point? Because the, yeah, One yeah. of the kind of things that is concerning 
is that it's it reminds me of when you're at school and you're like, I've got some black trainers. I'll try and get away with wearing those black trainers. And then you go to school and you're like, all day you're subconsciously just like, oh, I'm, you know, my teacher's going to tell me off wearing black trainers. And then they don't say anything. And you're like, oh, well, maybe I can get away with wearing black trainers every day. And then it's the day that you fucking, you know, you're like, you're comfortable about it. They come over and go, you're wearing black trainers, Jackson, get in detention. And then it, it, it's like people are wearing these masks, not because they're concerned about health, not because they care about no, anyone else's health. Bollocks. They just don't want to get told off, that. which is, yeah. f- that is the start of like mass, con- mass control. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. And is it, there's i mean I've, you've seen so many fucking memes over this about how tiktok have been conditioning people for years by putting them fucking masks on let's not lie tiktok w- is one of those things that was aimed like those fucking machines in japan where you go in and your eyes are like fucking this and you know you know what i mean like all that yeah. shit that that whole mask yeah. thing was probably because of that um what's it called that Pop yeah, that pop condition. that pop culture of of that it probably oh, right, that yeah trend, it probably trend, wasn't yeah, anything yeah. to do with this. But in Asia they've worn masks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was probably it was probably signaling that like virtue signaling that trend. It wasn't anything to do with yeah. conditioning people to wear masks. But it's that concern that again another thing like TikTok, the algorithms. Uh, was I talking to you guys about how I'd invested some money in Alphabet? Uh, Google Alphabet C and uh, A and B, and how and t- and no, TikTok. Man. Everyone's like, "What have you invested yeah. t- money in TikTok for?" TikTok are one of the leading, uh, basically yeah. selling facial recognition to people. Be- right. Because say, because they exactly that. and they're selling it to people, so they're essentially selling uh, patterns of faces. So that coupled with all this mass shit, do you know what I mean? They're not gonna fucking you know like. People walking around wearing masks and there's like, um, for instance, I went to the post office the other day. Sorry, gone off on a tangent again, but went no, went to on. the post office the other day with my motorbike helmet on, and the guy went, "You can't, you can't wear that in here." I was like, "Why not?" And he was like, "You got to wear a mask." I was like, "The motorbike helmet's covering my face." He's like, "Yeah, but we can't see the rest of your face." I'm like, "I don't Even think, it, I yeah, it doesn't really matter." But have you seen that new? Have you seen that? thing in germany yeah, got screens on there. yeah and it's showing it it's like it can now uh video cameras and stuff can now recognize who you are just from your eyes you don't they don't need any any fucking any facial things at all because of TikTok, thi- because instagram, of things like tiktok that, yeah yeah tiktok facebook instagram yeah. snapchat alphabet c that, yeah. alphabet a uh we were talking about it today like that is it's data. It, it's, it's it's basically stealing data. Like it it. It's like yeah. this this whole fucking pandemic as and 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 it kind of I'm going back around to the whole UFO disclosure thing at the moment. It's almost like they're, like you said, it seems like it's a mass survey to see how controlling people can be, um, whether 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 certain countries are able to abide by certain rules and how how easily we're able to have a basically a whip cracked at us basically yeah and it's no surprise as well that the most fucking if, if you sat there and said 15 years ago 15 years ago if you sat there and approached you and was like what would you say if i told you the u.s government were like oh yeah there's probably ufos in the sky back then you'd be like that has to be the most historically advanced human discovery and on the cusp of like evolution ever like what, what's that? There's actual fucking flying things in the sky that ha- no one And they're has admitting it. And they're admitting it? What? That's bananas. You talk about it now, people have no fucking... Like, it's as if it's like, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah. It's been over, overshadowed it's, by this madness. Yeah, and it's like, it's almost like now, because this, as you Ben just said, this madness and this chaos that just seems to be fucking flooding our minds, they've just slipped that in. Just something as bananas as that. Just oh yeah, we'll just uh, tell them that there are there is other. But shit. maybe that is a subcon a, a form of subconscious conditioning because that would right. You know, everyone's I've been saying it from like the beginning of this whole thing. Regardless of what anyone says about people wearing masks, you pr- are primarily wearing one because you think that it will help protect you. And yeah. the whole time they've been saying it's not to protect you, it's to protect other people, and it's just that makes no sense. Like. Because yeah. if you see yourself as a singularity, which 
that I'm guessing everyone kind of does. Like you, you know, it's usually what is in your best interest first. That is a natural human instinct, mm. isn't it? Like animal mm. instinct, fight mm. or flight. But that it's the same as like any of those like UFO things, isn't it? Like when they're when they're just like, what would you do? Oh, what's that film? <laughs> I've, I've sidetracked again, but it's just. I don't. It, it to me to me it's like if like again like I said if you went back fifteen years ago and said to someone governments are saying that they know that fucking UFOs exist and they can't explain them everyone would just be like I don't fucking believe you yeah that is so outrageous it is so crazy that I do not believe you everyone would ninety percent of people would be like that there's no way any government would say that but now it's as if it's just like water off a duck's back yeah considering with all the if you sat there and also said to them. By the way, your government's also telling you that uh, you can't go to work. You have to wear a face mask everywhere. You can't enter this building without washing your hands and feeling fucking awkward. Yeah. Like, nobody is going to work. There's this happening. Da, da. Everyone would be like, that's just as fucking crazy. Yeah. But now, I, it's fucking horrifying how everyone's just like, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, of course. It's what? little. It's Little it's, by little. Little by little. It's, it's happened little by little. So, oh, I need I mean, to send you guys a yeah, video. I said I. So. I said I. But it's little by little. It's they've slowly chipped away at what we got, and now they're like slowly. It's now they're dangling the carrot of nothing of of, ha- of not how it used to be, how it was less a year than a year ago. ago. A year like ago. in between, it, they're offering they're dangling the carrot of this. Do you remember last summer when you could kind of do things? <laughs> you can have that again now. It's not thanks. Thank you so much that I can <laughs> have that on. back. <laughs> You can't hear us. No, he can't hear he us. Can't hear us. He's gone again. <laughs> I think he's he can't hear us. It's fine. He's just frozen again. But yeah, they dangling the carrot of like the gap between lockdown one and lockdown two. They're not they're not going. Oh, here's the here's the first how, how it was before lockdown. It, it's it's crazy. What's this video you're sending to us, JJ? He's, know, he's eating his internet data though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got, oh, let me send you a video. Oh, I've got the data now. Funny uh, that. I, I was trying to send you a video. Well, I have literally that whole thing. I've li- all, all I've done is open my phone. Really? Your phone's got COVID, mate. Well, yeah. it's got 5G, yeah, hasn't you, it? You got 5G. That's what it is. Let's do it again. Oh. Is that three hours we've been recording for? No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Uh, we've only been. An hour, uh, Fucking two, bullshit. Just, un- just under two Please. hours. I was gonna say he's frozen again as well. If you're still listening to this, type in the video description or tweet oh. at us the word boobies, um, just so we know that you're actually one of the good guys that has got through this far in the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure Huxley will type in boobies. Yeah, um, but yeah, just if, in the Discord, anything like that, just write the message boobies in the server that we create for this random episode and we'll know that you're an MVP. Yeah. Without you a really, doubt. You really pulled pulled it out of the bag. These yeah, you managed guys. to get through all these technical But we, yeah, so, I mean, aliens, yeah. Uh, disclosure's been crazy. Uh, the amount of disclosure that he sent it to us. What was he sending? It? What is that? So I was watching the, what I was watching that? the crown, uh, season right, okay, one. Yeah. And this was, so season one was probably about four years ago, five years ago. All right. I'm just, I'm just down. Just listen, listen now. to what the guy says. Oh, I just I'm, <laughs> whatever love. Whatever love. <laughs> <laughs> whatever love. What do you need? More, more equipment? Masks are bloody useless. You just assume that you're not going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that's 1941. Masks thing. So I was talking to someone about the mask, wow. and they said that I think it was it might have been Rogan. Might not have been Joe Rogan, uh, but they're the the masks. So there there was a doctor who was wearing a mask, but he was he was sucking in his little vapey vape, and then he was blowing through the mask and he was showing that. Oh yeah, like, I saw that. What different what different masks did what, and like the like basically the the I wear like the disposable one because I I, look, I keep losing. I just wear one of these. Yeah, that looks. <laughs> Little, I wear one of those little, Looks those like little a napkin you, you know those little banana hammock little things. You remember you used to get those underwear <laughs> in a little plastic like you put yeah. the pan in. Uh, so a twist like, machine. Yeah, in like yeah, talk yeah. nightclub. You always find them at the um the 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 uh, what's it welcome break stopping. That, yeah, so that I, literally I reminds me of that episode of Extras where Daniel Radcliffe's got that Johnny in his pocket, and he goes yeah. like that. And he's like, <laughs> I've got yeah. this. Like, <laughs> it's quite yeah. obviously been used. 
<laughs> yeah. So I wear this disposable mask that hasn't been disposed of. Um, but yeah, so this one, it blow the vape through and the vape came out. Every mask, the vape came out. I guess the particles get out. Like particles get out of the mask. They're not that good. I, I, ju- I purely wear it to keep up appearances. There's no other reason for me wearing it. I don't wear it because I think it's going to stop me getting COVID because I'm vaccinated. <laughs> I don't wear it because I think it's going to stop someone else getting COVID because I haven't been showing symptoms. I wear the mask because I don't want someone to go, put a fucking mask on, you prick. Yeah. That, I just don't want to hear that. Because you'll end up breaking a jaw. Like, no, I'll, end up- I'll end up going, oh, for fuck's sake. And then put a mask on. So if I just wear it, then I don't have that hassle. It, it's the it's the hassle to life ratio that I live by. If there's no hassle, then life is good. If there's hassle, I understand. Then life is bad. And the, putting this mask on, minor hassle. Getting shouted at by some dickhead. Random. Massive. I hassle. agree, and that's the so, only reason I want to have the vaccine, so I don't have to wear a mask, and I don't feel guilty for not wearing one. And yeah. if that, so if that's the th- how about- confident you feel in the government that they're looking after you, ultra guilt trip. That is ultra guilt trip. You yeah. know, I mean, the fact that you get this fucking piece of cardboard that's got a sh- bit of scribble on it that says, fucking, yeah. I saw one the other day and I was like, can't yeah. tell what that guy's name yeah, is. Mine's... Don't know there what vaccine go. he's had, but I know that's the day. That, look at that thing. That tells yeah. me I've been vaccinated. This I thought that was, this. you know, like in a, in a pub, way worse than in a pub when someone <laughs> like splits a beer mat look. to write something on. That's what It's you... like, for something that seems so like... Make important. sure you keep this card in yeah. your purse or wallet. If... If <laughs> you get your back. national insurance card that the government doesn't care that if you lose is better quality than this. Like it's an actual plastic fucking card. My wife still got hers and mine snapped in like a week. I yeah. lost mine when I got mine. That blew in. So, but, <laughs> but like if otherwise, if I lost this, car key. how the fuck do they know if I've been vaccinated? Exactly. Well, mine, apparently the track and trace app uh, shows your vaccination, but I don't have that because I live in America. Yeah, and we don't have and, that, and I don't have the. Yeah, but America have probably got thirty-eight I, 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 billion I, I, in their I, back be pocket. Better if I just put my information on a piece of paper and just throw it out the window and let the wind take it, <laughs> it would be safer than putting it on the track and trace app, because that thing is just like data leaks everywhere. Data leaks central. It's been taken off the App Store and the Google Play Store. Like every update, they go, nope, you can't have that update. You've uh, you're just stealing things off. People. I mean, one of the That's one of the big not. flaws in that track and trace thing was <clears throat> the ability to just turn off contract tracing. Like, yeah, you can. You, could you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can just you turn, turn off, off contact, contact tracing. tracing. You you are in control of what you actually want to use it for. So if you want to use it just to find out people who have COVID, you just walk around with contact tracing off, and then. <laughs> if you just if you have covid you just turn it off and go wherever you want and then when you you know when you don't want to catch it you just turn it <laughs> turn it back on again I, so it, I mate, and that. what a waste That's, of fucking, it's fucking stupid. money as well i mean um, I, th- I think what it's all it's done this is kind of give people a lot of time to sit at home and oh that's it oh you've got so, it so yeah listeners JJ's turn back <laughs> Listeners, JJ showing us the screen of his app, and it literally says contact tracing is paused. Yeah. Uh, turn back on. So it's like a complete fucking flaw. Yeah, because the thing is that when you walk past someone in the street who's who the later test positive for uh, COVID, you are triangulated to them, and it tells me that I have to isolate for five days. It's it's literally a pinging service like they use with cell phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Phone te- mobile phone towers. I apologize. Yeah. Mobile phone towers. It's literally fuck me. I never knew that because we don't have that in America. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I never fucking knew that's that. It's probably against some kind of constitutional right. That's right. Why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking like wild. it fucking should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never. I've never downloaded. I've just permanently like pinging shit out. You know when and... you walk into the pub, you go, "Yeah, if you could just do the track and trace, I'll just take a picture of it and then delete the picture and then go done it." And they go on your way, mate. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Care. And then I have to put a mask on to walk through the pub to sit at the table to take my mask off and then just shout <laughs> and spit <laughs> and like and then and then put my mask back on to go to go to the toilet, have a piss, wash my hands, come back down, take my mask up off. <laughs> um... A woman me a drink, takes my drink, like. Oh. Spit on the floor. Oh, it's, and, then, and then, right, so bear in mind, in England, we've been able to drink outside for about a month, right? Now, you can't, if you're drinking inside, you can't then take your beer out to the smoking area. You have to leave your you drink leave there, your drink, go yeah. for a fact. You can't, but... What's beer, the science can, behind that? But you can smoke, you can... 
but you can go you can drink outside yeah. or you can drink inside you can't drink inside and then go outside with, with a drink. drink i don't get the fucking logic man can't I'm carry so, your drink with covid so, as batshit nuts as this sound life sounds more life sounds less complicated in the us right now than it does in the uk and i am fucking in, i am upset that that's i that has come out of my mouth to be honest it's it's it feels like this country is a petri dish of tests. Have you seen that like Dominic really... Dominic Cummins is uh, basically now bribing the British government? So he's he's been under the he's been under the under the cosh for a while now for being quite shit at his job, and I I, I genuinely think he that resigned. he's basically like so has has he resigned or like yeah he resigned before didn't he? yeah so what so the he story was am I am I right in thinking he was the one who went to Durham? Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, that guy. That so guy, now yeah. he's bribing the government because he's, he's got a dossier that, yeah. that basically uh, tears holes in everything that they've done. And it said 50% chaos, 50% non existent. Um, basically, uh, he's got a, a timetable of every error that the UK government have made. And he's like, but he's he basically, he was in charge, of, was in charge of it, but he's basically yeah. threatening yeah. to release it. Look. Employing me as a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, Captain <laughs> Dickhead. That's what I was kind of thinking about. Uh, is that for a, for a Tory government? Tory governments are normally the ones that don't want big governments. They want it to be like condensed. Yeah, condensed. Do it yourself. Do your own thing. Like just pay your fucking like pay whatever and, and we'll carry on. We'll make our little dodgy dealings and you won't hear anything from us. Yeah. And then Labour's obviously the ones that want to have the big government. They want everyone to be controlled and they're socialist and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. This government is... and But it shows the echo chamber that you live in because I was convinced that Labour were going to win. Like, uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree and, with that. And yep. then you're like, oh. Oh, fuck. But that then happened. I was like, and then you like go, well, Keir Starmer is probably the least likable person ever. <laughs> and then you go back to the fact that the last electable... Labour leader was Tony Blair and he was a warmonger. And he was a warmonger. But that's war the criminal. only bad thing he did. Right, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you it's so it. bad is that <laughs> actually, even though... Uh, uh, and, Joined an uh, right, and we're gonna, I'm going to go right off track quickly. Tony ba Blair now looks like Vigo the Carpathian from <laughs> Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> Everyone Google Tony Blair picture 2021 and you'll know exactly that. what I mean. I he looks like Vigo the Carpathian. He's got is long he hair. Really? He's frozen. He's frozen in his internet search. I'm Vigo. No, no, I'm oh, back. I'm back. The, like, it, it's the, 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 the painting, yeah. Yeah, the painting, yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure. The I'm sort of trying to find a brilliant, a brilliant I'm thing. Vigo the copy from Soto of Moldova. Tony Blair, the oh, wanker of Labour. <laughs> yeah, like, like, but. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, it, it's 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 sucks. a horrible world of conditioning. Right we now. we live in a really crappy world, but you know, I think I don't think we live in a crappy always... world. I think we live in a really bad time on this planet. We live in a really fucked up we, timeline we right now. But we still live. Uh, that we still live in a time that is better, the, the best time to have ever been alive. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think in a in a in the era of information that we live in, where everything is acts accessible i'm pretty sure governments have been dodgy, doing dodgy back de and dealing with tenders and stuff for years for ppe yeah. and or not just ppe but every they've been doing it for decades <laughs> but now we all know about it and now we're like fucking pricks yeah. um i found that meme that i was just while we're talking about kia starmer um hopefully you guys can see it but can you read that hang on no, no just it out. oh uh, yeah 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 boneless party please <laughs> Kiss Thomas spotted at KFC. <laughs> Boneless party, please. <laughs> Mate, he's got to go, hasn't he? Uh, he's only just fucking arrived. Oh, I awful. love how he tried to blame Corbyn, and it was just like, and they showed you the results with Corbyn as the leader versus him. Yeah. Right? I mean, it just go, it goes Corbyn to show you how shitty is Hartlepool for the first time in 70 years have voted uh, Conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> and if you, there's no there's it, more you know depressing what? area it, than Hartlepool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we might need to start wrapping up. Today. Yeah, I was gonna I say know. I am. Uh, I'm. I'm back. Yeah, fucking grafting now, aren't I? So. <laughs> yeah, grafting. Uh, we, so, so, yeah, drawing. Oh, drawing. I'm just drawing people. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we should definitely do our 9-11 episode. We have done, we have done some research. Me, yes, and, no, me, we've and, got a good me and Huxley right. have written out loads of stuff that we need to talk again, about on our first episode. Again, fucking just MVP Huxley. Uh, granted, he's been a guest. Uh, has he been a guest twice now? Once. Once, sorry. We need to get him on again. He's almost like the unofficial, like the unofficial Beatle. Like he, mm-hmm. he's such, Pete Best. such a fucking great asset to the Not Another Conspiracy Podcast team. But yeah, like Hux, you're well. I like. I remember Ben sending me the uh, the the Google Drive invite with the um like the documents for it and stuff like that prior to shit that happened in the background with me and this that the other and seeing what Huxley had developed on that Google document, the, the, the research that both of you have done is fucking incredible. We will get to it. Like, it's too it's too good not to. And one particular podcast that I was listening to that was fucking crazy information that I can't even believe is linked to 9-11. Um, I can't remember what the podcast was. I don't want to ruin it for research reasons. I, I, what was that one that I said that was brilliant? You know, Just got uh, an idea before you go too wild. Why? Mm-hmm. I know it's a way off. But it would be the 20th anniversary this year of 9-11. Oh. Yeah, we'll, well be, all right, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, it We'll do be. some other little episodes like this then, building up to that. But we do need to spend a lot of time. But yeah, maybe the week of nine, of sep, that September 11th, not 9 11 9 When 11 9 comes around. <laughs> 11 we'll, When 11-9 comes around, because we're English and that's the date, <laughs> uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll discuss it. But I... Yeah, it's too big to get to. It's too big to rush, uh, and the way we've discussed it and we want to do it is we want to talk about the build up to what what caused nine eleven. Twenty what, years prior to it occurring. Yeah, what well, longer than that? Like I think we go back to nineteen forty eight. Like we start in nineteen forty eight. So like we've done like me and Huxley have like written loads. Well, I wrote loads of things that I wanted to. Touch to cover, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then me and Huxley are trying to link those now into a thing. And it, it'll probably be our first podcast, like our first proper script. Staple episode. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Episode. It'll be a full staple episode. And we've and we've we've talked about this for a while and we'll we'll wrap up now, but we'll discuss what this just talk about the podcast and on we know we've been really slack recently. But we we want to step up our game. And but this wants to be the kicker. If we want to step up our game, we have to invest more time. But we can't invest more time, so we have to take longer to do episodes. But they'll be worth it, I think, maybe. But these episodes are still fun. I do like just yes, absolutely, shit. yeah. And um, something to add to it uh, also is because there's been uh, a lapse. It's been there's been a lot going on in the background with uh, myself. A lot of the reason why I've had to come home in an emergency. Dad's health's not doing too great. Just to sort of just to put uh, put the line there, uh, but. Um, with regards to more time being done, um, now that I am also looking at uh, starting a new job very soon, that means I will be finishing, starting earlier in the morning and finishing in the afternoon my time in Detroit, or in, in America, sorry, it will mean that we will be able to have more time to record our podcast instead of waiting for me to come home and it being mm. nearly midnight for you guys. Oh, our camera just died. I was just about oh. to say, your camera's <laughs> gone off now. Fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah. One uh, second. So for the viewers, <laughs> listeners, um, it's there's going to be some uh, changes happening, but we're in time in the next month or two months, there will be so much more time for research. There'll be so much more time for physical recording, mainly because I will be starting a new job and it will give us more time to be able to record across seas. So therefore we will have more things to cover and it will be such better timing basically yeah it's it's unfortunate that we were looking at doing this 9-11 podcast and the amount of research that's already gone into it and we just had to put a stop to it because of of things but work. Light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> yeah work light at the end of the tunnel though uh changes to my working life back home are going to be a positive uh output on not another conspiracy. Also, theory, so that's nice. To on do. another positive out, outlook, I don't know if you've noticed tonight, but I'm sober. <laughs> I haven't had a drink. Hey, <laughs> I haven't had a that, drink. So that hey, t- 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 turning a new turning <laughs> is that, a new I page. thought that was because it was a, a Wednesday. Yeah. Nah, like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> so why what, and why why are you sober? Just you didn't have anything. In the house? I, yeah, I didn't have anything in the house. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I, I was going to say you. Dean drove, so that's why he didn't, we didn't have a beer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to say that uh, me and JJ were talking before, and firstly, 
if you're still a patron, <laughs> boobies. To now, not another conspiracy podcast. Like we Thank love you. you. Thank uh, you. We we can't offer you anything, but <laughs> if you want to carry on patron patroning us or patronizing us. <laughs> Uh, by giving us money, then go for it. And like, we thank you, and hopefully, it will pay off in the future. Though, um, again, with me getting a better job, better time, more money. Dean's gonna do a- loads of Patreons on his own. <laughs> yeah. We'll start. Maybe we might even get round to getting our own shirts printed off. Yeah. Possibly with Patreons. I think early. some people are getting T-shirts and stickers because of their their Dedication. their their levels, but Patreon organizes that for them so they just get them sent out really right. they're, 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 they're just the that. logo that yeah they're just the logo they're, they're just, that works wow it's gonna take time but please if you're still here persevere there's light at the end of the tunnel uh we want to get back to the way things were when we first started and it will get there it's yeah. just unfortunate there's a lot of shit going yeah on. minus yeah. the lockdown we don't want to go that far back yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the only the only good thing that another lockdown will do is that me and JJ will have loads of time to do the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> While Dean's like gallivanting around with no mask on, we'll still <laughs> we'll just be locked <laughs> locked in our houses. Yeah. Um but yeah, if again if you you know, don't forget ogsocks.co.uk uh, NAC, NAC. NAC not I haven't even checked whether that still works to be fair, but I'm sure it does. I'm yep. sure it doesn't. Um, I'm going to turn it off. If you got this far, uh, vagina. If you've got this far, that's the right. Vagina yep. in Discord. If you got this far. Yep. So there's boobies and vagina. Uh, MVPs if you have. But otherwise, you can follow us on Instagram at not another con. Is it? No, that's Twitter. Not another conspiracy is the Instagram. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Twitter. There's a link tree on there. It's got all of them. Yeah, there's a yes. link tree. Yes, of course. But uh, otherwise, and then JJ's going to put a Coinbase wallet on there. That's linked to our thing. Good shout. Yeah. Just chuck. Just chuck whatever shit coins you want to put in there. Like uh, anything. Because at the moment, they're all shit. (laughs) I mean, I wouldn't say no to a Bitcoin. We're interested in cryptocurrency. And I'm sure we'll probably, when we get into it a bit more. I know JJ has got a fucking fountain knowledge on this. But we'll (laughs) do a cryptocurrency episode. Maybe we'll do one as one of these filler episodes leading up to 9-11. When we've all made our fortune on Dogecoin. And safe moon. And safe moon. And when safe moon And kiss moves, you. And kiss you and all that. So, yeah. Uh, I'd kiss you. We'll see you in the Discord. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Thank you very much for listening and watching. <laughs> Thank you. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. What happens? When it comes to it. In the, the, the thing. Oh, maybe it's it. Oh! <laughs> and it's in the back. There is a light brown jacket. Uh, Story. <laughs> 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 when at the first we definitely